focus. Wow. <laughs> How about now? Yeah, you're good. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in with us for our August 2023 live stream. As always, it's going to be a good time, but Kent, I, I have to say tonight, I'm not sure how good of a time we're going to have because Trent was in control, was in charge. <laughs> Kent, we can only see your head. Of what's happening. In your arms. Huh? Why? <laughs> oh, is that camouflage? <laughs> <laughs> you freaked me out. I'm like, I'm moving over. Or I'm trying well, to figure out I, what's going I on. I thought it might make me look thinner. I camouflage my fat. So... <laughs> Let I'm me know if that works. Good. I'll, I'll line up <laughs> You're for you. Buy some? <laughs> Next live stream, we'll, we'll have both of us off camera right shirts. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> so, anyways, I, I can I have no idea what's in here. Trent, I just have a couple questions for you. Is it bourbon? All I will I will confirm that it is all bourbon. Okay, that's cool. I think you may have had one or two of these in the lineup. Okay, I can't say for sure. <laughs> All right, but I like I'm I'm a nice guy. I share everything so, that I that hold I get on. with uh -huh. all you. Uh -huh. Hold on, did you share your good ones and your bad ones tonight, or just your good ones? These are just good ones. Okay, yeah, now he told all me right. that a week ago. Right. I, I, yeah, I I remember you I asked me that, him. <laughs> I was like, Trent, are you going to throw in some clunkers or anything <laughs> like that, or are you going to try to trick us up with something? <laughs> oh, that was a ride out of bourbon. So I will say though, one of these is not like the other. They're all good ones, uh -huh. but one is not like the other. So if you can, if you can pick <laughs> out the odd one out, mm -hmm. well, something will happen. I don't know what. We'll, we'll let the, we'll let, we'll let the chat decide what they think. <laughs> well, I got one last question for you, then we'll move on to some other things. What kind of proof are we dealing with here? That's all, that's my only other thing I have. I know you can't give everything away, but what kind of proof are we dealing with here? Yes. <laughs> Come on. It is a. It everything is above eighty proof. Well, that, that's very helpful. Hey, thanks. Thanks. It, it helps me regulate what I have during the live stream. That's why I asked. Kent, on the other hand, he's already had a, a warm-up session an hour or so ago. Where were you at? Well, I got it, and, and I do want to give him a shout-out. Um, for those of you around Valparaiso area, Lincoln Flats has been Flats. expanding their um, high-end bottles behind the bar. Whiskey? They've got, yeah, whiskeys, whiskeys and bourbons. Hard to find. Okay. Um, he's got a hook up somewhere. Yeah, he's, he's, that's put, right. he's putting some good ones up there. Mark's, okay. Mark's got a good uh, good array, and he hooked me up with a couple pours tonight. Uh, the new Stellum Rye, which, what is it called? Trenton, I can't. The Stellum Rye? Stellum uh, Fibonacci. I think it, it might be a blend. But it's it's Fibonacci. I'm stuff. not sure, but it was very very good. I've heard I think a little about very got good. One like a a double or a single gold at uh, San Francisco World Spirits Competition oh. either this year or okay. last year. I might have to try that well. over there then because I've heard a lot about it. It was really good. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then the I had never had the Billy Holiday uh, bottle of Bond, so I had that while I was there. But, okay. Um, but no, he's got a great selection yeah. there. Lincoln Flats yeah. has uh, a good selection, yeah. and actually. There's a handful of cocktails that he does a really good job with. Uh, okay. I would say in Valpo, that's the place to go if you're a whiskey and bourbon guy. All right. So he had a good hamburger, too. Huh? I had a great hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> well, he, when Kent showed me a picture, he said, what would you do if you had this before the live stream? I said, I'd be in bed and you guys would be doing the live stream. That's what I would be doing. So he's already had a warm up. I haven't had anything yet tonight. So I was trying to wonder. They're not giving me any clues on proof, though, so we're out of All luck, right, well. I think. I, I will tell you that it's between 90 and 127. Oh, that's good enough. That's fine. No, it's okay. Right. It's a broad that. spectrum. I like, that's fine. <laughs> Honestly, th there weren't a lot of things that I could find at home. Grant, the basement, you well, you know, the basement <laughs> yeah, a, a nightmare. But oh, there yeah. wasn't a lot of stuff that you guys hadn't had. So I yeah. was kind of picking at straws, trying to, and the proof was all over the place. <clears throat> it's all right. Um, as long as I but, know, yeah, I, 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 all bourbon, all good. I think I will say though I haven't had three of these. Three of these. You haven't. So wow. I don't. I can't specifically okay, say they're good, but they are supposedly, supposedly, supposed, yeah. supposedly yeah. good. No. Okay. Well, that's Supposed, saying yeah. something. I've tried and had them. I like to be better. Yeah, we'll see. About I was that. Already probably haven't either. Well, that that answers no. the questions I need to know. I, I yeah. mainly I asked because if Trenton threw in like 142 proof or somewhere, <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> I want to know that because yeah. that one might be bad for me. <laughs>
All right. Well, as always, let's introduce who we have here. Jay's with us. It's your birthday today, buddy. Happy so birthday, happy birthday. Jay. Thank you. I know you had a part in whatever we got going on up here too as well. So thank you for your participation in that. If Thanks anything goes me. bad here, this is Jay's fault. He <laughs> <laughs> I doubt he had everything. So to do that's with why you brought him along today. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, we have Michelle who's on the chat doing the best she can there. Trenton is doing what he does, and my lovely wife Rebecca is is bossing both of them. I'm sure. No. I'm just reading the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, I'll let you introduce a couple other special guests. Yeah, to have I've got uh, my youngest son Caleb's here with his wife Amanda. Um, both supporting SLB gear and actually mm. made me feel bad because you got I, the hat. Well, I got the hat, but <laughs> we went to dinner beforehand, and I right. I had meant to put the T-shirt in the truck and, yep. and change out, but yep. I forgot. But they they came supporting their SLB gear, and uh, it's cool to have them here. Caleb was down here, I believe, one other live. Yep. yep. Along quite a while ago. Yeah. Uh, but Amanda, I think your first time coming down for this. Yeah. Uh, so cool to have you guys here and. Uh, yeah, it's good time. Good times, Caleb Ludington. That's what I call him. <laughs> He's a good one to have down here because if I'm mixing cocktails, he loves them all. <laughs> he loves them all. He doesn't like dislike any of them. Do you want to? Do you want to tell everybody the cocktail that you <laughs> that will be making for Wednesday's video? Are we going to yeah. do that for Wednesday's video? Okay. I think your hard work deserves some some uh, <laughs> notoriety. Yeah. <laughs> You Me and so Caleb for... tried the syrup for it, so we'll. Did you? We'll tie Caleb, you, you did, did too. Did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. what did you think? I think. I can see <laughs> did how, it blow you away? I, I can see how it would taste great in a cocktail. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the syrup by itself is a bit yep. much. Yes. <laughs> it is. It is. Well. <laughs> I can't believe you brought this I up. I can see the potential. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> I was challenged, and it's hard for me. It's hard for me to turn down a challenge when it comes well, to a cocktail. Well, that's hard. In life, if you don't know the two of us we're a little bit competitive. So, yeah, um, but I'm old enough now where Kent beats me at everything and that, <laughs> and that just sucks, to be honest with you. <laughs> but but I was challenged to a cocktail and we were in Kentucky. Who is it, Trent? Yeah, I want to know who, who challenged you to that. It's, it's, it's my Bucky. mind. Bucky, thank you. I, I, <laughs> I couldn't remember. But I appreciate that. Our good friend Bucky, who helped us uh, line up one of the distilleries down there. And what's that one, Trent? Glens Creek. Glens Creek, yeah. Oh, so I'm just, i got to get down there. I'm losing it all yeah, over the place here tonight. I haven't had anything to drink yet. So Bucky helped us Maybe line up our right. tasting at Glens <laughs> Creek, which was which was fantastic. I don't even know how this conversation even came about. I really I have no idea. But... Somehow we were talking about hot dogs, and then it came up with hot dog water because, as you remember, Mima and Peepaw, there was no there was no frying in a pan or no no, no putting no. them on a grill no. or anything like that. <laughs> Mima would throw hot dogs in a in a yeah. in a pan of water and and, and say, yeah. "Here's here's dinner for tonight." Yeah. Yeah. So I was challenged to make a cocktail out of hot dog water, <laughs> and so I did. Have you tried that yet, Jay? No. no. <laughs> Before you leave, you gotta try that. So right. what we did, what I, in my mind, I'm trying to replicate a Chicago dog because that's usually what I eat minus the onions. I don't eat the onions. I don't like raw. Cooked onions, I'm good. Raw onions, no thanks. Kenton's a no garden person. So he's, he's, he's all right with that. But I'm allergic. <laughs> I, know, I know you are. <laughs> so anyways, it... it, it what I did is I did boil a package of hot dogs, cheapest ones I could find, actually. Threw the hot dogs away. I made syrup out of the hot dog water. Strained it a few <laughs> times through a coffee filter to get the fats out of it. So I got hot dog water syrup, all right? You ready for that? Jay's going, I don't know. So then I'm thinking, okay, I need dill pickle in there. I need tomatoes. So I threw some tomatoes in the blender. I got that. I, I, I strained all that out. But then I acid-adjusted the tomato juice so now it's got the acidity level of an actual lime or a lemon so Man, it's got I the acidity that level of that adjusted it, throw in some you know. malic acid and some citric acid <laughs> and then you can raise that that acidity level right up to a <laughs> to lime or a lemon so i'm thinking dill pickle and it just made sense i i infused jameson i infused jameson whiskey with some dill pickles yeah 
Yeah, honey. Somebody uh, said Dirty Dog Martini. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually thought name. that was pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, anyways, I, I mix them all together just in a sour. It's very simple. So just a, just a three-ingredient sour. And so, I have wow. to say, when you we'll tried see. it... I loved it. He loved it. <laughs> he said it was delicious. And I'll say, me and, me and Caleb both tasted the... Uh, Hot dog simple syrup, which is <laughs> makes me laugh just saying it. But uh, we tried it. It tastes like a Nathan hot dog to me. I don't know. Man, do you uh, want to try it? I see some faces back Maybe. there. Yeah. <laughs> I want to try the whole thing. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's special. It's special. Yeah, that's for sure. So I guess uh, we're doing that this week. Trent says we get challenged. You get challenged. We recording that cocktail this week. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. All right, buddy. You ready to start this uh, blind stuff? Yeah, we have uh, we have a giveaway too. I don't. I have to figure out what we're giving away because I, I don't know. I didn't really come prepared. Trenton, well, you've been gone. You got a lot of stuff going on. And then you're going to be gone again next week. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, we'll give away some cool stuff. I just got to figure well, out what it is. Well, I know you have some picks at, at your place available about. still. Yeah. So I do know that. I'll, I'll I'll be scheming while you guys are tasting this yeah. this fun line that I have lined up for you. I'm sure you'll come Good up. Luck. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm sure you'll come up with something. That's for sure. Oh, but do we have raw potatoes here? You guys have any upstairs? I don't. I don't oh, know no. if your mom does or not. I, I have I, to eat a raw potato. I don't. Know. Why? It, yeah. Why? Well, something happened, happened in the last video. I don't even know what it was, but I said. You bet me I, something. I think I said if if this bottle is. 100 proof or more, I ate a raw potato. Oh. Or le- yeah. <laughs> and it, it was... Well, what was it? What was the bottle? Do you remember? I think it was Cooper's Craft. I must have... Uh, okay. I don't I'm know. not caught up because I didn't see that yet. <laughs> it's the raw potato. My grandpa used to do it with salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so it's not going to be as bad as I like that, dude, all the time. Dad used to. Dad used to eat raw potatoes all the time. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind it either, bud. To tell you the truth. I'm good with it. So, <clears throat> anything else you got to do tonight, Trenton, or you, anything else fancy you got to do tonight or special? No, babe, what do you got? A uh, couple comments, but mm-hmm. Justin Massa says that it should be a hot dog syrup giveaway. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. I don't disagree. Uh, Pages and Pores, this is from a little bit ago, says, how does Kent have a son old enough to be married? Isn't he Hi, just Robert. 30? Okay. Yes, oh. I am. <laughs> okay. I, I adopted him when I was 12 and, you know, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> I do. Yeah, no, that that's awesome. Um, Robert, I'm pretty. I'm now. pretty sure this white in the chin here <laughs> gives that away, but no, and he is, how old are you, Caleb? 28. 28 years old, so that gives away uh, anything. I'm I'm getting up there. Well, there was one time many But I'll years never ago. catch up with this guy. He's <laughs> a lot older. There was one time many years ago <laughs> that I was asked if I was his father in a grocery store. Remember that? Yep. Yeah. Yep. That wasn't too funny. So that wasn't a cool And thing. Caleb works at the mill, too, and coming out the gate one day... Uh, the gate guard looks at my pass and she says, "Oh, does your dad work out here?" <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Yeah, he does." <laughs> I left it just like that because I was hoping she said, "Oh, I seen your son." <laughs> of course, of course. But literally in the last, because we just redid our badges. Yep. It's in the last several years that, just six seven years ago, there was not a white hair in this. Is that right? Um, yeah, because I'm looking at my badge. I'm like, holy cow, that happened quick. Yeah, so, that, but it does happen. I probably wouldn't get by with it now. <laughs> Trenton, you found a potato. <laughs> Trenton's questioning it's, the. It's a tad soft. Oh, you'll be fine. fine. You know, it's easier uh, on the teeth. You'll be all right. It's fine. Yeah. If potato experts say it's fine, then I. I washed it. Should be washed. All right. Now I've got something to look forward to. Before uh, before you guys start, with, right. uh, 20 bucks from... Lanoma. Lanoma. I thought it said Lanoma. Lanoma 94. <laughs> Cheers to my favorite YouTube Aww. channel. You're doing a good job. Thank you so much. Hopefully we're your favorite after all this happens with the potato. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got to just go with it, Trenton. That's all. All right, Kent. I believe is, hey, I honey, is an A on his right, too. Yes, it is. I think I lined him up correctly. Please A's do a here. double check because I've been known to mess him up once or twice. So yes. I'm starting with A, Kent, because if I don't, I'm just going to get messed up. Yeah, no, I so, agree 100%. We did that flip-flop once. <laughs> once, and, and it, it was a nightmare. Yeah. yeah. Paul Dorsey's watching. Hey, he's, Paul. He's Hi, a, Paul. He's a big fan. He just texted me that the Fibonacci 
uh, Stellan, he has it. He says it's very good. Oh, it's, it's yeah. It's, I've, I've, I've been hearing some stuff about it. It was a very, very solid today. pour. What's it go for? I don't even know. I might have to go to like a Paul, class to get a pay? pour of it. He's in Texas, so it probably is. I think I saw for like 80 bucks. I'm curious uh, on that because I wouldn't mind getting that one after I, I tried Yeah, it. ask Paul what the deal with is that. If it's finished or, or blend, a blend or blend, whatever. Yeah, it's good. Blend man. and finished or Paul will know. Paul knows everything. That's for sure. Uh, I'm seeing ads might be on. Let me see if I can do yeah. anything about that right now. That's pretty good. Mm. It should be off by default, but let me. Uh, Light and sweet. I didn't expect that. There it is. Sorry, folks. Ads. I just turned the ads off. There we I go. I think. Yeah, let us know if you see another one. Hmm. Sorry. Sorry about that. <clears throat> If Trent is not afraid to eat a yard mushroom, he shouldn't be afraid to eat a soft potato. <laughs> Melissa, True that. Melissa True Rivers, that. Melissa yeah. Rivers, you have a point. You think? <laughs> He's eaten way worse things. Than a, than a yard mushroom? Yeah, why don't you talk about the like candy in Target? Or something. Not, no, not we'll, like we'll leave that. Ball, but like mm -hmm. the random open, the probably tar already tar licked candy? Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Oh, okay. What do you think of this one, Trent? A... Yeah, yeah, what's your thoughts? <laughs> I think it's a bourbon, and it's and it's brown. I said I think there's some malted barley going on there. That's my thought. I don't know if you agree, but that's it's okay. That's uh, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say you had the, your face looked like you were you were being a little bit overly dramatic about that. Um, you know, it. I found it a little bit sour. Did you find just a touch sour, Ken? Mm -hmm. Just a touch sour, and there is some barley notes coming through there. There's a little bit of light sweetness in there as well. I'm trying to pick that up, but not a lot. Is it's it, not super is sweet. Is it just me though that the the nose is sweeter than what the palate was? Mm -hmm. the palate it really is not that sweet. No, I agree. I'm searching to find more sweetness, and I'm not really finding it much. But it is a it's a balanced pour. That's for sure. It's definitely balanced. Um, it has a little bit of a little bit of sour, um, kind of almost reminiscent of a wild turkey, but not quite. I get what you're me, saying there, though, um, with the sour, because it's not bad. It's not a bad thing. Um, but yeah, all right. I'd be surprised. <laughs> He's got all his notes. I'd be surprised if there wasn't some. Like a decent amount of malt barley or something in that. That's one of the most allocated bourbons ever. A is? Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I know, I know you are. Well, I can tell. Chris That's Rodriguez. how you can tell me. I can tell you. Chris Rodriguez says, this is a great channel. Just signed up for yeah, the Patreon tonight. Be. Thank nice. you, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Thank Welcome. you, Chris. Welcome we got a lot of Patreon. cool stuff. We got a cocktail competition going on on Patreon right now. And it's a lot of fun. Yeah, and Can if I you want to join I've been Patreon, watching it. It's yeah. catching my attention for sure. A couple of them. If you want to join Patreon, I'll put the link in the in the chat. In the little yeah. chat thingy. I have a question. Can I can I throw it out there, Trent? To, for everybody? For, for me or everybody? Everybody. Yeah. Just in the chat, if you can respond, would anybody be interested in, in a live stream at some certain point where we just mix cocktails? Yes. We might even take requests in the chat. I could have a few ones ready that I really like or that I really love. Hot dog myself. bar cocktail. If, if it helps anybody's decisions, some of the best cocktails I've ever had came from this bar right here. Uh, yeah. Kurt knows oh, how to make a cocktail. He's so good. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Just that it may not be up everybody's alley. I'm just, I, I was thinking about that the other day, Trenton. And, That's a pretty know, cool it idea. Just, it just dawned on me. Something right different. Now, so, yeah, Something we'll see what they say in That's the chat cool. and see if we get a approval, getting, non approval. We're getting quite the amount of yeses. A lot. Like, now there's probably 50. <laughs> yeah, we should probably do one. Wow. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't be, think yeah. I've seen Freaking. one, no. And, and really... Um, uh, Caleb, you're coming because he likes them. <laughs> <laughs> <I'll be here. laughs> we have a couple uh, questions and some comments. Um, Big Dave wants to know, where were my lemon heads on my last shipment? I tore through the peanuts looking for them. <laughs> Try and explain yourself. Yeah, so I, I, I goofed. Wow. And, you know, I'll, I'll fully admit when I goof. He ate them all. Crazy stuff, isn't it? Yeah. 
Oh, I bet he did. Yeah. I think he ate them all. I think he did. We, we were in the process of up. You got a fly in there. You got some good stuff in your hair. You know what? Here's the thing, dude. <laughs> you got hot dog water. I'm irritated. I'm irritated at the moment. We spilled well. Yeah. I heard that sucker over there somewhere has <laughs> been down here for several weeks. And before this live stream, when I, I was like, you know, getting everything ready, I was like, I'm finding that thing if it's down here somewhere. And I forgot. Of course, I forgot. Well, here it is. So here it is. Yeah. It's made itself right a there. home it's just for the last couple of weeks. I have one of those. It drives uh, me nuts. I got one of those zappers we can hang right in between you. Both. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you need a that way, when take it care dies, it. it falls into your bourbon. Ew. Ew. That's all right. Some extra protein flavor. That's, that's hey. um, he just wanted to be a YouTube star. He's yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. <laughs> sure is. But um, <laughs> you guys are putting some. These first couple are different. It's not. It's not it's your not quintessential. Your it's not, not your quintessential not stuff, dude. For sure. Okay. Um, well, we order about 800 boxes of lemon heads at a time, and we just ran out. So I, I apologize. Wonder why we ran out. <laughs> we will. Uh, well, I, I eat some when we're packing because it's, it's a long. One for him. One for the box. One yeah. For What's him? the flavor? I don't even One know. In the box. Um, let's see. You're good at flavors. Taste that. Christopher Bain. Like top gun of flowers. Five dollar donation. It's off He's the wall. asking which drink gives you an instant gag <clears throat> reflex. Mine is scotch. Yuck. Thanks, Christopher, for the five dollar donation. Thank you, Chris. That's a good question. I'm sorry. What was the question, Michelle? What? Which drink gives you an instant <laughs> gag reflex? <laughs> oh, my oh Malort. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I have a hard time with the Lord. It's kind of just. I'll do it once in a while with Caleb, just for the fun of it, I guess. But it ain't. It's not good. I don't think I've ever had a drink alcoholic that's made me gag. Have you ever had Lord? Yeah. (laughs) I didn't gag. It was just. Well, then you're doing good. (laughs) Jose Cuervo Gold. There's a distinctive flavor in there, Jane. I just can't pick up on. I don't know that I want to now, but I did that a bunch. Years ago. <laughs> well, what do you got there, Ken? There's just definitely has a little more hooky presence on this one. Oh, I agree. But For sure. at the same point, I think um, it's, it's weaker on the palate than the first one. Yeah, it's not as sweet either. No. Yeah, it has some dryness and a little bit of oakiness Dry. there. Dry, for sure. Um, it, it, it's got a, it's, it's, it's almost, and I want to say it's got flavor like cork. Here, you haven't had that one, Trent? Have you ever done that one? Sir? I haven't. I'm, huh? I'm impressed. I don't think I've said that before. It's like, you know, when you're in school and there's a cork board up there. And I'm trying to say it like you would. <laughs> yeah. And you know, and you you know if you ever went up there and take like? a piece so of it, it in your mouth, you know? and you tear. Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> Speaking of, Michelle showed me this picture oh, no. once. And it was like, it, it was sort of oh. like a meme, and it was like a foam football. And the uh, captain said, why was there always a bite taken out of these? That's <laughs> some truth, though. Yes. Yeah, true statement. Every I time. I that once. Well, I was, well. I was the one that, that took the bite out of the foam football. That would explain a lot yeah. if I swallowed the styrofoam or whatever it was. That, that, oh, that doesn't us. surprise me. Wow, that one... Made me scratch my head a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I, yeah, I'm, re- I'm going to go back to it. I'm, I'm struggling a little bit with that one. But I'm going to go to C. I mean, predominantly, Kent would be was the oaky and a little bit of dry. But there is some, it's, there's a tiny bit of sweetness. <clears throat> there's a note in there I'm just really trying to latch on to. I didn't think about the uh, the dryness at all until you said that. But that's mm-hmm. a 100% true statement. Yeah. But, all right, well, let's move on here. We have some more donations to read. Um, oh, what happened? Oh, Brady Ritzert, twenty dollars. Brady, Brady how, how are you doing, Brady? I haven't seen him so I haven't seen him since I left the mill. Brady was our um, our uh, salary side safety representative oh, in okay. finishing. All right. Did I say the last name right? I think you did. Okay, yeah. good. That's how I would have said it. Twenty dollar donation, but thank you didn't you, say anything, you, Mel. But so yeah. hi, thank you. Thank you know Brady? Yeah. I do not know Brady. Um, He's about your age. If you don't know, young Kayla. feller. Caleb, my son, uh, is a bander. Yeah, I'm a bander at the hot dip. Yeah. Bander at the hot dip, so. Which is a galvanizing one. Not, not too far from to me. where Brady's at. <laughs> yeah, he'd be so. he'd be the salary representative, but then on the union side, you're not going to see him a right, lot unless you know. something bad happens. You don't want that to happen. Yeah, so. I'd rather not. No. <laughs> no. Rather not hang out during the day. <laughs> That's <No>. right. <laughs> Justin West is in the chat and says, Hey, Justin. I'll be over there for that cocktail live. 
I mm. think you should come. For oh, absolutely, color. yeah. Hey, Justin's That's is why. really good at uh, just, mixing, yeah. making syrups and reductions. Is he really? Yeah, reductions. Re really good. He loves. He was telling me through via texting of uh, he made Kent. Uh, it was it was one of those uh, founders. Mm. And I, the founders uh, bar mm -hmm. some, he made a reduction kind of out of it, like into like a somewhat of a syrup, but a reduction really? type thing. It sounded really interesting. I would like to try that, Justin. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, Kent. Uh, yeah. David Simpson says, take off the SLB hat and let's see that beautiful dome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> David's hitting no. you hard, eh? Man. <laughs> wow. Man, I, I'm, hey. not even, I'm not even ashamed. <laughs> it's, it's pretty thin. Da David knows me too well. Yeah, look at here. Look at all my hair. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cut it this short, you'd look the same. <laughs> <laughs> now do you believe he has a son that's married? <laughs> oh, that was that was cold. Oh man, Dave. Well, Dave, I man, we go way back, and I like him. But that was that was harsh. That was harsh. But I'm not ashamed. It's been that way you a long you time. You didn't pick a lot of them. I'm school, used to really, it. Did you? No, did you have no, that coming? No. <laughs> No, okay. we, we were okay. pretty good friends back okay. then, so that, All right. that was just Dave having fun tonight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Jill and Cindy Dave quit are laughing. watching Kurt from the uh, Bourbon Trail mm. in Kentucky. Mm. Looks like we're getting a lot of new patrons. That's awesome. That's good. I scrolled past and I saw it a couple yeah, times. See. The link is in the um, chat. Someone asked, sweetness. what's this None of them have Patreon y'all speak no. of? Yeah. So it's oh. in the chat. So if you want to talk about it, <clears throat> I can talk about Patreon. That's real. good. You guys have well, we if you guys want to talk about the poor, I can talk about Patreon. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you're the boss. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, what you got? <laughs> Pretty much, dude. What you got? See? Yeah. I'm gonna taste it again. I, the viscosity kicked up on that one for sure. Okay. Definitely had an excellent mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. It had it had a real nice depth to it. Not a ton of sweetness, but there is a really nice flavor profile going on there. My first sip, I was thinking more of baking spices and things like that. But I really like this one lot, um, quite a bit better than the first the, two. Uh, the comment I made to him, which was, I guess, odd. The first three, I wouldn't say any of them are sweet. <laughs> like overly sweet. That, that's not the profile of these. Yeah, but that's good. Uh, it doesn't make them bad at all. Okay. But I don't find them sweet. Okay. That's good. So it's rich to yeah. me. It's rich. Yeah. Has some depth. It's a little bit dark in the flavors. But Kent's right. Not super sweet. It's not a mm. dessert pour. Mm -mm. You remember the Buckners that I gave you last yeah. last live stream? The yep. Buckners thirteen. Yep. It's not on that level, but it, the flavor. That kind of vibe, yeah. Yeah, that, that yeah. one's not super sweet either, but right. really, really good. Yeah, it doesn't kind have to be sweet to be here. good. No, it does but not. But these so far have not been. No. Like no. huge caramels and butterscotch, yeah. and that's no. not been the vibe. No, no, but I, I do like that. I do like that. Real, mm -hmm. real, real nice, hefty baking spice stuff I get in that one for sure. <clears throat> Zach, right, White, oh, no, Zach sorry, White says, "Holy farmer's tan, Kurt." Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> Trust me, I don't. Uh, look at that. Wow, my <laughs> eyes. Hey. What can I say, man? What we got we say? got the same going on. I can't. I got a golfer's tan from hell. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> not too many people want to see me with my shirt off. Let's just put it that way. You can find well, with on, me, you they all do, <laughs> and I just don't let them. That's why I don't have a tan here. It's kind of how it goes, but okay. <laughs> all right, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's like, that's not uh, true either. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, oh, he said he loves you. <laughs> Dave's no, I right. yeah, I got no issues with Dave. We yeah. never had any issues, but yeah, our family. That man. that was just a fellow old guy call out. That's what that was. Our, our <laughs> we're mom, getting old, Dave. Our mom and dad were really good friends with oh, his yeah. mom and dad. Yeah, very, very many sweet. many years ago. Yeah. Kyle Robinson with a ten dollar donation says, "You guys are amazing." And then also says, Bradley and Sydney, congrats on baby three. I don't know who Bradley and Sydney are, but congrats on baby number three, Bradley awesome. and Sydney. Congratulations. We hope you're able to get some That's great. much needed sleep yes. with the uh, third. Congratulations. congratulations. Going deep on that. <laughs> Seriously. I don't even remember which one that is. This is more like a, like a burnt honey on the nose to me. And... Uh, 
know what you're going to say. Primal Sear with rubs and suds, $10. Wow. Primal Sear. As we sit bourbon with the SLB fam and enjoy the yeah, evening, please remember and support the folks in Hawaii going through a difficult time. Mm. Cheers, everyone. Uh, yeah, for sure. What a tragedy. <sighs> Thank you, Primal. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a tragedy no matter where you're living Absolutely. when that kind of thing happens. But <clears throat> Unbelievable. Then you add the fact of the beauty of that place and yeah. and where they're starting from now. It, yeah, and there's yeah. so many people missing and, and, and can't missing and just, lives and it's, so scary it's just uh, wow, what a, what a nightmare, <clears throat> what a nightmare folks have to live yeah. through. It's just it's just shouldn't be. That's all I can say about that. Man, Ken, this one here, <laughs> you guys are really you did a good job. And actually talking about you guys dry. Did a good job. <clears throat> this is, I don't know if you think the same, but this one, as soon as I took the taste, mm, dry it gel. seemed like my mouth dried out instantly. Like it's a very, very dry pour. Is that bad? No, not necessarily. <laughs> um, but it's a very dry pour. I yeah, that fly is driving me nuts, Jay. Jay will get you him. can get it, man. <laughs> Jay's the hunter. He'll get that fly. That thing won't land. <laughs> We need to get one of those salt, those salt guns. Someone yeah, suggested it in the chat. A couple people. We'd be shooting Kurt with salt the entire night. I apologize. I, I, in my head, I meant to find that, that little thing, and I forgot all about it. You need one of those tennis rackets that is also like an elect, an electrical yeah. doodad. Yeah, when you get all, when you turn all the lights on, that's when the, you know I should have done that earlier, and then could have came around, but didn't think about it. I do find more sweetness in this one, Kent, though, than yeah. the first three. But do you? Feel the yes. same thing. There's definitely some dryness dry, going off. Dry sure. my mouth. This up. is a higher Maybe. proof. This is a higher proof option that they have in here too. But I like it. Alex Thomas says, "Just found mm. the channel last week. Binged so much already. Love the honest opinions." Thank you, Alex. Thanks, hopefully Alex. Ho hopefully you're. Your finding us wasn't too detrimental to any uh, <laughs> any stuff. Oh, oh, it oh almost you almost got him. It just landed right. I, I heard its legs. Yeah, <laughs> by my ear. It's, <laughs> it sounds like a bird. It sounds like a plane. Or plane, it's yeah. Fat. He is fat <laughs> fly. all the bourbon down and here. the hot dog water. <laughs> yeah, he's loving it down here. Nice and cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alex. Again. Yeah, thank you. Thank uh, you hopefully, I wonder if he hopefully started. Hopefully, been able to be productive still. I know, like when I get into to. When I find new channels, I just go like, yeah, full send, and he I watch all the videos, and then I do nothing all day. I'm just curious if he started at like the beginning. Oh boy! Those yeah, are, <laughs> the are archives. Fun. Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. All right, can I'm we, going on to oh. five. All right, this one here, it's just uh, I, I got more sweetness. It is drying. I do like it. I, I do think it's pretty good. Higher proof. Aaron says your channel has sent me back like two to three grand in a month. Oh no! Sorry. Well, <laughs> that's oh, not. I, I feel so bad. Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> uh. Don Morton has an interesting suggestion. This is from earlier. Ooh. Five dollar donation. Thanks, Don. Thanks, Don. And then also says next time use kosher hot dog water and bottled and bond bourbon. Thank ah. me. He says thank me later. Cheers, SLB family and fans. <laughs> I kind of want to know why he knows that though. That's a great question. I have questions. <laughs> Don. Don, uh, what's up with your yeah, knowledge of hot dog water? Yeah. This one's more vibrant on the nose. For me, it's the best nose of the bunch. Yeah, it's vibrant. It's it's polished. It's, it almost has a little bit of citrus of some sort in there, too, with it, for me. But yeah, 100% for me, that's the best nose of the bunch, as far as mm -hmm. nosing it yeah. goes. Right. Um, yeah, I really like it. Chris Rodriguez says... A little syrup in there, too, maple syrup. It says, hot dog water in the bourbon is okay, but you're all are drawing the line with a fly? Come on. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that yeah, is a good point. Valid, yeah, true. valid. We got hot dog water. He's chomping on a raw potato for the fly. Yeah. How, did we, how did we get to this point? Our first live stream, like we were. I don't know what you guys Maybe. are about. Potatoes, normal. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's snack time at Caleb's house. <laughs> if I ever make, honestly, Caleb, if I ever make potatoes here at home, or even if I'm just making some, you dicing some up for, 
you know, for breakfast with some eggs over or anything. I'm always snacking on a couple, yeah, a couple of slices a couple of that raw there. potato, one of our, uh, dipping a little salt in oh, yeah. one of our local bartenders at yeah, Franklin I House. That, that's been her daily snack for years. That's I do. awesome. I do. Every time oh. I cut a potato. Shout out to Franklin House. Good times. Yeah. <laughs> not good times. What? You're not doing it right. Kat, I don't know about you, but <laughs> this last pour is really good. Yeah. <clears throat> it's another level. My my note <laughs> is best nose, best palate. That's my note. On on e, the, the last, last one. one. Okay. I'm and I go. think it's it's got a <laughs> decent amount of proof to it. Sorry, Michelle. No, you're fine. I just do that every time to you, and I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> well, I do it to you. <laughs> Where Either is? way, Benj Baird, Benj says Caleb Crawdad. I don't know if you know that person, Benj. So, I don't know. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you look like Perplex. us up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He had a $2 donation, so thank you, Thank ben. you, buddy. Appreciate it, buddy. But <laughs> Caleb Crawdad, does that sound familiar that at all? It does. Yes, it does. Okay. It's bringing, a, bringing <laughs> some bells. Yeah, I mean, uh, Benj Baird, if you want to explain that, <laughs> we, we would be happy to read <laughs> Maybe that. he shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, that was also, my thought. Also that. Yeah. If it's a, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, trying on that one. That the viscosity. It might have been when I worked it out. The viscosity really? is through the roof. Benj on the on the last Benji? one. D. Yeah, Benj? it's just so good. The sweetness is there on that one too. <clears throat> it's got a nice for me a nice maple syrup note in there. And I think it's got a a good proof point. Mm. Um, the oak is the the rich sugary oak. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's just really, that's really nice. Really nice. This is a different lineup, though, Trent. Um, different in the way, I mean, I've had lineups up here where it's, oh, that's so rich caramel and rich this. These aren't that. No. And Which is surprising to me. When well, I, when I, like... I don't want to say there's specific reasons I haven't opened these, but just kind of saving them for mm -hmm. some kind of special occasion because yeah. I, I thought they would be sure like special. Yeah. But it's it's interesting to hear that. Well, what I'm I'm not saying that that makes it a bad thing at all. I'm not disliking these pours. No. I'm not not enjoying these pours. Yeah. But it's not an overly sweet lineup. I tell you what I enjoy as far as sweetness goes. What I enjoyed. Because usually when we do a live stream, we pick a theme. Four Roses, Wild Turkey, Old Forester. Yeah. So for me, that's pretty tough to yeah. split hairs of the differences on their releases. This is something different pretty much in every set oh, yeah, for I the agree. most part. So I, I kind of enjoy I that agree. part of it. And, they, and they've been really distinctive. good. And, I, and I'm trying, don't get me wrong. I don't mean that. I'm offended. In that they're <laughs> a bad pour. No. None of them. They're just None not. Of them bad. They're not overly sweet pours. Mm -hmm. They've got different characteristics yeah, to that's them right. that are good, but it's not in your face butterscotch or in your mm -hmm. face. That's not the pours yeah. these are. Well, like I said, they're they're although this isn't a distillery <clears throat> review or a distillery blind, there is still a theme. Okay. It's a bizarre theme, though. Not really. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> not you, not really to Trenton, but <laughs> right. Yes. <Okay. laughs> Were you able to to find or guess which one was not like the rest? I didn't. Or did even, you completely? I didn't even forget? think about. I would have to say this one. <laughs> That's the only one that stuck out as way different to me. Okay. So I would have to say that one. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, ra raffles aren't happening, guys. I don't know what what's going going on. Uh, we did find out uh, Caleb up. Crawdad, though. It's from The Office. It's a character that Michael Scott has in The Office. And I feel very ashamed oh. that I didn't know that. I, we just, also, I completely I, I forgot. There's a guy that works at Albany's that when I used to work there, they used to call me that all the time. And now you know why. And you never knew. Maybe it's because <laughs> part of the show. That's funny. Mm -hmm. That is funny. <laughs> I have a couple more donations if I... Yeah, go ahead. Ask Bombeck, five dollars says Hill Rock shall be redeemed. <laughs> oh boy, I, I, I hate oh to break boy. it to you. Thank you for your donation. I hate to oh break it. Yes, boy. thank you. Hill Rock is not in here. I, I honestly thought about slipping in a Malort or something in this lineup, but I, I was like, if you would have, I would have held my composure and I said, This is fantastic. 
fantastic. You would not have. I would have. Because in my back of my brain, I'm thinking he's got something in there somewhere. I would be interested in doing, and I let let me know in the in the chat because I, I thought about this. Taking the some of the worst bourbons that we've done and blinding those and finding the best of the worst and finding the best of the worst. Yes. Wow. I don't know if you want to be that. a part of that one. You might want to let Trent handle that one. Maybe some some baby huts and some Willet pot still. You know, we oh got we got God. a couple, you know, on, on the shelf of shame in Kurt's office. The shelf of shame. Shelf of shame. Kurt, There's one. the famous bourbons that have been left in Trenton's car. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> did you talk about Logan's <laughs> the bourbon that? Mm-hmm. Bourbon from the, the top truck? of the garbage yeah. can. You yeah. did? Okay. One of these was in the truck for a while. Really. Yeah. Well, these are opening up on the on the aromas as they sit because, as you know, we poured these kind of last second. Yeah. So, as I'm going back to them now, Kent, for me, uh, to be honest with you, my lowest scores of the grouping that's on the bar top was the first two. Were my lowest scores. I don't know about you. Well, I'm. <laughs> I was trying to beat you to that because I was just smelling, and then I. Mm -hmm. um, D, the first time around, mm -hmm. uh, kind of was off-putting to me a little mm -hmm. bit on the nose, but then I I just took a took a whiff and went, yeah. oh, that smells pretty good. Then I took a drink, <laughs> it tastes pretty good. It's so like I, I'm coming through that again. Yeah, it's very yeah, very almost. much so. So I, I'm personally going to go back to A and B now that they've opened up a little bit too, and see what I think of those two. I'm going to leave C, D, and E alone. Especially E. E was my favorite first time through. So I'm going to leave that alone for now and go back to A and B and see if we have to eliminate something here. All right. Because when I, when I raised up A for the smell of the aromas, it's like, wow, that's way better than the first time around. Give those a little bit of a swirly, twirl situation. Mm -hmm. Those are fresh cracks. Okay, because oh. I, I would just tell you this right now. Good point. That sip on A was way better than the first sip that I had. Okay, so I I just went back to this one. Mm -hmm. Just went back to B. Yep. And I'm thinking of it differently. Yeah. Both I'm thinking of, of A differently. Both of them. <clears throat> uh, to be honest with everybody out there, my lowest score was on B. My second lowest score was A. These two I kind of had referenced as ties, and this one was my highest score. But I just sipped A again, and I found it to be pretty good. I'm still getting a little bit of that sour, but that's toned down a little bit. And it, the sweetness is coming through a little bit more than it was before. And it could be me too, because I didn't have any sips before we started this. So my palate could be a little bit more adjusted to drinking some bourbon too. We have some more donations. Justin Kern, $5. This is an interesting request. He says his wife is in a race today. He's asking if we can shout out, run, Sam, run, run. <laughs> Well, I can shout out run. <laughs> I'm just not running with her. But uh, that's awesome, Sam. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my wife has done some, uh, well, her biggest one was a half marathon. That's awesome. And uh, been a little little while back, but she does a lot more than I do on the, yeah, I, the physical end of things. Uh, run, Sam, run. <laughs> yeah. run. I couldn't touch but her. But I'm, I'm good at rooting her on. I yes. can do that. If I'm running, y'all better be running too because something is wrong. <laughs> Bad hey, has happened. Me and Dave Simpson did plenty of running growing up. Yeah. Yeah. Not my oh, top yeah. of my my order. Not either. Order, you know? I don't think it's in our family. We didn't. You know, if I got well, you know, I I could never even when I was younger in better shape and sports a lot. I I don't think I could do a half marathon. Oh, I I don't think so. I got. Uh, I could hit three four miles too. something like that without too much problem when I was younger in better shape, but. I'm a short guy with short legs, <laughs> yeah. and uh, I'm pretty quick on from here to the door, but I'm not doing that. Not. <laughs> That's not happening. Too many steps to get there. <laughs> Before we continue, I'm going to have Michelle run through some donations. We're a little behind. I yeah, apologize. there's a bunch. Sorry. Sorry about that. You guys We're rambling. Awesome. Yeah. We're telling stories. No, it's okay. I think that's why people are here. Um, let's see. Ryan Burdu says deer season in Indiana is only about six weeks away. I'm down for some SLB camo gear. 
We should do that. Nice. That would be <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. That's not yeah, a... that's a great suggestion. Jay's got his uh, camo four wheeler in the back of the truck as we speak out in the driveway. Wait, really? Okay. Okay. Sausage right here. He's, oh, he's, yes. Oh, yeah. He did get that's Jay's birthday right. sausage yeah. today yeah. before the live stream. That's big Mike. You guys, you guys tell that to everybody that trend? What? <laughs> that Jay gave you a sausage? <laughs> and you're, you're always the one that's a little, a little prudish during these things, and now you're going to go down that route. <laughs> I'm still going to blush a little bit, but I'm glad it was Michelle that said it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> we have a $10 donation from Jeremy Lynch. Thanks, Jeremy. It says, cheers all Wendell Richardson hats Sorry. be back in stock. Thank, Thank you, Jeremy. I actually have, we have uh, black Richardsons and like a, how would you describe that? It's like the lightest green color on Kent's shirt. It's like a, I think they call it like sage or something, like a sage yeah. green. Courtesy Richardson. of Mrs. Old Tractor Garage, that was her oh. suggestion. Yeah. Oh. Hey she guys. It looks really good. She asked like a million times and I finally gave in. So those are being made right now and I think they should ship like next week to to my house. Yes. And then right. we'll, we'll start, we'll, I'll put them back up in stock on the website and those, those should be good to go. Right. We'll put an announcement out though when that yeah. happens. Yep. Bradley Arnett, $10. SLB is my favorite bourbon channel. Shout out to my buddy Kyle in Virginia. Cheers. Thank you, Bradley. Shout out Kyle in Virginia. In Virginia. I, well, mm -hmm. I, we might be going to Virginia for like a bourbon tasting at some, some theater. You mentioned that something. That sounds awesome. It, is that the place I said if it was South Virginia? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that wasn't a place. <laughs> Michelle's like, Virginia, bourbon, I'm in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we Traveling might, we might be in Virginia, so if oh. you're around where we're at, we'd love to meet you. If we can find our way there, considering Trent thinks South that Virginia South Virginia exist. exists. <laughs> <laughs> There's Southern Virginia, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's yeah, that's what you meant. That's what uh -huh. I meant. That was it. Uh, Jason Schofield, $5. I think I said your name right. Cheers, SLB. I finally found Early Times Battle and Bond. Congrats oh, yeah, to you, Jason. That's Comes correct. and goes. I mean, it, around here, it's either here and all over the place, yeah. and then it's nowhere. Yep. It's yeah. weird. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, but it's, yeah absolutely, it's, man. 25 bucks or whatever, 23, 24 For that kind of money, it's top-notch, man. <laughs> really good stuff. Buy a case if you can. Money. Did you see the video that won our blind? Yeah. Yeah, for the no, it's, 20 to $30 price and it, range. That's not the first time it's done well no. in blinds. And that's right. No, that's a solid bottle for that kind of money. It stood up very well. It's all about a period, but yep. for that kind of money, yep. really good. Speaking of Mrs. Old Tractor Garage, $20 donation from the Tractor Garages. Thank Thanks you. for keeping us entertained on the start of our 3,000-mile road trip tonight. Oh, Travel wow. safely. Holy cow. Wow, where Travel are you going? Travel safely. Where are they going? They're That's going out west. They're way. going to, like, Wyoming and, oh, and how Colorado cool that? and a mm. couple, couple other states. Beautiful country out yes. there. You'll enjoy that. Caleb and I have got some good spots for them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. Well... We know. Get in touch with them. Yeah. <laughs> Josh Ellis, $20. Become a patron and join the madness on Discord. Yes. Concur. I... Even though I haven't been on lately. I was editing last night's video. And between editing and uploading, it was about an hour and a half, two hours, there were 600 messages in Discord <laughs> that I couldn't read them all, so I just hit, like, skip to the bottom. But... Um, it's Discord is popping nuts. off. In That's there. why I can't. I just can't hang with it. I can't. That was your I, message I would like the other to. day. I would was like to. Hilarious. <laughs> well, you the timing like, was. You were like, "This is a bad time to join." Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, I'm on. It, that's a tough one for me. I'm on all the time, that's and it's hard. One. But you just got to stick with it. You'll you'll get there. Mm. Mr. Right, Tech Savvy here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> but if Kurt can do it, <laughs> yep, come on. Yep. That's true. I mean that with love. Jacob Kilburn, MMA, $5 donation, having, I can never say this one, La Lagavulin, eight, and cheese. Ooh, love some cheese. Not bourbon, but still hanging out with you guys. What kind of cheese? That's a good question. Like a craft single? Or, <laughs> that, that'd be my it's go not even. Is that cheese? It doesn't melt. Cheese? cheese product? You could leave it on the grill on a mm. burger. Oh, for thanks. 20 minutes, and it still looks like he just took it out of the package. <laughs> That's, that says something. That's scary. <laughs> Probably survived nuclear war. Kevin Latou, $20. Happy birthday, Jay. A couple Thank people you. were saying that, and Thank by a couple, you. I mean a ton. Hey there, Polly, Go Rangers, Brandon, Go Tigers, Landry. Hey, SLB family, Stella says hello. Ooh, Stella. I love Stella. For those Stella of you who don't know. dog. Yeah. You can see her on oh, Patreon. I mean, on Discord. I don't know what you did. Oh, it's a calendar. Hey. <laughs> you turned out. I'm supposed to be here right now. <laughs> You're a little late. <laughs> calendar went off. A little that late. calendar went off. 
<laughs> hey, we need to do this quick. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Go. We'll, do, we'll just do this quick. Um, and I'm just going, things have changed after I went back, but I'm just going to go with first gut because I, I really enjoy every pour. Yeah, they're good. But I'll yeah. just go like that. Yeah, I'm good with that. I, I went through them again. A and B and B is definitely my last place choice. So whoever's got the keeper of the keeper of the uh, key, so you know, honey? so either uh, Trenton and uh, Jay are making those faces because we screwed up, nope. or in their eyes, or they both are just trying to trick us into thinking that. This is, this is being in this place is exactly what we thought would happen. Okay, well, we both it, predicted it. Okay. Um, all right. What you got out for? You did. Yep. All right. Here's tough because my, my next time around, A was a lot better than what I thought. So I'm going to have to. I'm still, a lot better than the I'm first still time leaving. Around. I'm still leaving E alone because that was my favorite. So I'm going to have to go back to uh, C and D real quick and see what those are like. And while you're doing that. Oh, we're going to say nope. something? Mike Rada, $10 donation. Thanks, She's Mike. still good, dude. Says, you know Trenton, I know a guy that can help you keep flies out of your glens. Mike makes these 3D printed, uh, like, Anything. toppers for, uh, like, Glen Cairns, and he puts, like, a bunch of stuff on it. He made me a, a gumball machine. It's thing, really cool. And it's, it, I, I believe it's functional, but you can't, like, I don't, there's not, like, gumballs you can put in it. So. But it's, like, it fits on the top, and you can, like, it's just like a little fake really? green type thing. He wow. made me a forklift. <laughs> yeah. When our ASW got stabbed by a forklift. <laughs> Yeah, right. Sad <laughs> times. It was cool. Sad times. Yeah, he's very talented with that thing. Pascal Morelli, I think. Five dollars. My wife and I started our bourbon journey last November because of your channel. Aw, yay. Currently own 50 plus bottles. SLB is still our favorite whiskey tubers. Thank you so Aww, much. Aw, thank you. We love that. Well, I'm going to stick with what I had before, Kim. For me, I've got to push you out next. And I have a feeling you might disagree, or may or may not. I think it's close with another one, but for you personally, but I can't. I I know it wasn't. I'm speaking of D. Well, I'm. I may. <clears throat> I know D wasn't. I may disagree. I, mean, I, th I know um, D was up your flavor. I, it's different. D is definitely has heavily baking spices. Not a lot of sweetness there, but I, I kind of like it. I like it for myself. So I got to come with. A's coming out next for me. Although it, it was way better than the first time around. For sure. Ryan Andrews gave a $5 donation. Says, enjoying a Saskatchewan exclusive <clears throat> last Mountain Distillery 100% weeded whiskey and enjoying live wow. stream. Wow. Holy cow. Wow, that sounds good. That sounds yeah, good. It does. What do you, what do you, you, th well, you said enjoying, so you probably like it. <laughs> I would that imagine. sounds interesting. It does sound good. I don't. I've, we've never tried that. I don't even know what a Saskatchewan is. It's probably a place. It's in I Canada. Oh, okay. That's why I don't know much about it. <laughs> Big Dave, no, no uh, n words. Well, words are hard. I know that's good. He didn't say anything, but he gave us five dollar donation. Have, Thanks, Big Dave. Thank you, Big Dave. Mm -hmm. All right. You gotta do what you gotta do. You, Big Dave. You, I was surprised. I thought you'd do that one. The Big D J says, "What do you know about that?" Hey, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah. Girth? Oh my gosh. This is getting raunchy. Chris Engel, $20 donation. That's the opposite. Much love, SLB fam. Keep what doing what you this. do and keep the amazing barrel picks coming. Thanks, Thank Chris. You, Chris. And yeah, we're going to keep all those barrel picks coming. We have a lot of really delicious barrel picks coming, yes, which are part of our Patreon. I'll, I'll chat more about that. I have two bottles for Kurt and Kent that they know nothing about towards the end. Oh, wow. So I'll talk about our Patreon during that. Right. Um, well, Kent pulled out something different than Kurt did. I yeah. did. Yeah, I pulled out A, Kent pulled out C. Okay. But let me just say, let me just further this conversation right now. C is next for me, so it wasn't far okay. off of what you were talking. Okay. I got to so write down That's what next for me. Saying. Okay. <laughs> so fifth place for both of you was A. Yep. Or no? Yes, B. correct. Fifth. Oh no! no. Last, last place, place B. Last place, last B. place B. My bad. Yeah. I said last that place really, B. In a really dumb yeah. way. Then uh, <laughs> fourth place for me, Trenton was A. For Kent, it was C. And then for me, third place, I just pulled out C. Kent has not made his choice yet. That's that your actually, third place. That's my third place okay. is C. It was, and Kent is right. It, for me, it was kind of a kind of a coin flip with with A and C, but I chose A to go out in fourth. 
I was actually uh, surprised on that just because I was watching your body language mm-hmm. when, you, when you had it, and mm-hmm. I thought that was one of your top runners. Mm-hmm. That's why I, when I pulled it back, I'm like, sorry, uh, you know, but yeah. you weren't too far behind me on that one. No, no, I wasn't. Do you have a third cam or are you still trying to decide? I'll tell you in one second. Well, here I go then. Nathan Boltz, $5. Keep up the great work, y'all. Wanted to ask if you've ever considered doing a video on Nulu Experimental Finishes. I love their Amberana right now. That would be an interesting video. Yeah. I, I don't know about you guys. Do you have much Nulu, Ken? Not, um, <coughs> excuse me, not any of the oddball. Experimentals ones. or anything? Just their standard stuff. I think, like, Nulu is, is sourcing and, and MGP. The SLB bottle, I love yeah. that. Yeah. And I and actually I like the other stuff, but I don't have any of their oddball stuff. Okay. Nulu is sourcing MGP. Uh, we actually just did a, a Nulu double oak finish with them, and it is <laughs> one of the best. One of one of my favorite picks, I think, that we've done. We're, yeah. But they, I think Nulu Same. does finishes very very well. Yeah. The they price do point can be a little bit out of reach for yeah. a lot of people. It's kind of kind to me. It's a little. It's just, a little much. It's a little bit. So we, we can we can Sorry. talk about it or doing a video specifically on finishes. <clears throat> That's a good but, idea. But I think new lose a lot of new lose stuff would make it in there. I think they do a good job. Yeah. Thank well, you for question. the suggestion. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's a good idea. Fantastic. Phil B, ten dollar donation. No comment, but thanks, Phil. Thank you, All Phil. Right, Phil, thank you, buddy. I think if this is the right Phil, he's like touring a, or he was touring a prison earlier. <gasps> what? I want yeah. to do that. Where? Yeah, me too. I can't remember Phil. Was it like Alcatraz? Alcatraz? I want no. to go to Alcatraz. You in, yeah, where are you at, Phil? <laughs> Phil, let us Take know. me with you. $20 from Steve Payne. How's the potato? Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll get there. Really good we'll get there. We'll get there. It's doing a nice... I'm warming it up on this soundboard we got here. <laughs> That's not going to cook it. <laughs> Sorry to help. We ended up the same, just in different orders. Okay. Yeah, Kent went ahead and... Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I mean, we're on the same wavelength, yeah. just... In I don't blame you there. A different lineup, you know, different way of, uh, order of getting there. That's all. Yeah, I could have yeah. went either way too. So, well, that leaves us with D and E though. So those are obviously our top two. Yeah. So I haven't went back to E Kent since my first taste. So I'm gonna go back to both of those. And I think both of us through the first round thought E was oh the best one. I mean, really by um, head and shoulders. And I usually only I don't know what you do when you're blind and stuff, but. When I taste something that, for me, is head and shoulders above everything I had, I leave it alone until the end again. I did not. I've been back. Have you been back to it? Yeah. Yeah. I I just, when I know it's like that much more, now even if it's just slightly my favorite, I'll definitely go back to see how things change, if it does for me. But this one was so good. I think the only reason I did is when I I went back to some of these, they were so much different than the first time around that I'm like, was I, you know, thinking something totally different? That one there kind of is reminiscent of a of an extremely solid Elijah Craig barrel proof bottle. That last one, E, because e. Okay. the viscosity is real nice. It's nice and creamy, and it's it really covers all your all your mouth. It's good. It's got a good finish. Just There's some sweetness com- just in there. Compare the noses for a second. The uh, E's a brighter nose. Yeah. Remember, that's what we said, but it's vibrant. Did we? Very vibrant. Yeah, it is brighter <coughs> nose. Oh, it's got some luscious toffee notes in Luscious. Wow. Luscious. I, mean, I, I know I'm singing its praises quite I'm a bit here. Luscious I'm going to get a little drink of water before I get on deep. Scandalous. <laughs> here we go. This is the part of the show where we go off what? the rails. I'm not sure what Kurt's going to be saying. What? I'm kind of surprised <laughs> we haven't gone off the rails a little sooner. Although we were talking about. <laughs> His descriptions might be real it's descriptive. It's awesome. or, <laughs> Pat and Colla Greco? Colla Greco? I said Colgate. I'm so sorry. I totally just jacked up your name. But Pat, five dollars. How about There's building individual and secret content same, infinity yeah, bottles? This is still good. But so yeah. And then blind this tasting them sometime yeah. down yeah. the road. That's a good idea. Know, yeah. Actually, that's a that. really good idea. Not a lot of sweetness there, but it's Do, notes in your will. We we actually give away our. Um, we make infinity bottles for the stuff that we don't use or drink all of on videos, uh, and we do end up giving those that's away right. to to patrons um, as like a giveaway. Kind of but that's a good idea. That is. I'll, I'll write that down. Thank you for the suggestion. Yeah. 
<laughs> just yeah. We love you guys' suggestions. It helps. Thank you, Pat. It's like a really funky rum. Well, that's, yeah. Trent said it wasn't rum. But it, it hangs on for a long time, mm -hmm. though, to finish. It does. Okay, buddy. We're good. If you're good. I mean, I don't know about you, Kim, but I'm going to put, a, I'm no, gonna we, put D. We just talked about it. We're in the same boat. Um, D and then E is the winner. So, but D, to me, has the best finish, and it just stays there. Like, if I drank this really and then good. that was the end of the night, it'd still be there like 20 <laughs> minutes later, it seems like. It's really, it's <laughs> really, really solid stuff. It, it's not dialed in with the sweetness as E is, but D is is just a different pour. But We were back here talking like a funky rum kind of feel to it, yeah, almost. It was, it was really like, neat. But man, it's, it's good. Neat. And the finish, the finish is incredible. Um it's not going away until you put something else in there. I mean, it is not going away. Mm. So Do it's really still good. Do you think that E is the oddball or not like the others? You know, that's a <laughs> good point. Coming through it, we said that the first time around. Um, but good point. Good point. Um, I'm going to try it one more time. To Four of you know, the five have a theme. Pardon me? Four of the five... Um, have a theme? Have a theme, I guess you could say. Yeah, I, I really couldn't tell you. And for me, I'd have to say A. Or no, I apologize, B. I don't want to give it away. B. You just think because B is different? I think so, just because it's just... Man. Yeah. Just because it's not... It's not jiving with me with the rest of the flight. Okay. But I could be wrong. Well, you guys have spoken. I'm going to go grab these bottles. Huh? Let's put this yeah. behind us, Kit. You know what? Yeah. Well, yeah. And then I will just what, keep right? reading some yeah. comments then. That's right. Michelle's going to read these. I forgot these to write down what I had. Get caught up. <laughs> what my <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. Twenty dollars from Keith Norton. Thanks, Keith. Keith, how are you doing? Much love to the SLB family. Thanks for being real. Yeah. Love y'all. Thank you, buddy. Keith, Appreciate. We it. love you. We Thank do. You. We do love you. And, and everybody else. And, yeah, of course. And salty lettuce, twenty dollars. I haven't. Yeah, I have SLB, salty lettuce. SLB, SLB, SLB. Good to hear from you, buddy. Like a muscle. <laughs> yeah, it's salty. Good to hear yeah. from you. Salty's been with us long time. Long time. Yeah. Good to hear from you, buddy. And I want to say too. I don't know if Chris Angle's watching, but it was really cool to see Chris again. Um, thanks for taking yeah. time yeah. out of that. Chris, Chris, she time she back here. Yeah. And, she donated. Uh, she read it off. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'm sorry I missed that, but. I'm yeah, pretty sure that was so cool to see him. Chris, what did he get? And, and reminisce about some things. He's the one, I believe, that messaged me an hour or two before the live stream and was able to pick up a Russell's 13. Oh, nice job, Chris. Pretty sure that was him, yeah. Nice yeah. job. Well, uh, get ready to get hold on to your seats yeah. for, this, for this first one. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> and oh, boy. Be well, the, hey, let, 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 real quick, Trenton. Let's just say you guys did a great job. Everything was good. Everything was good. I know I did a good job. And you have to, you know, you got to have your last and your first, right? Yeah. But there's none up here that we go, oh, that just, oh, I couldn't drink that. It's nothing like that. So, anyways. I would tell you, you know. <laughs> it's your birthday. It's your birthday. You can do whatever you want. It's your birthday. You know, you know, you know I would tell you if something was bad. Uh -oh. you know, and okay, and prepare yourself. And You're none ready? of it, none You're of ready? it was We're bad. We're ready. I've seen that. So what are you giving us, Jay? <laughs> no, he's doing, he's hold on, hold on. He's trying Sorry. to do it slow. Ooh. That's in Fred. That's awesome. And what is that, though? First, oh, it's that last place? Last place. Well, you know, I've never been a Van Winkle fan. <laughs> <laughs> I will have to say this. I, I have never tasted Van Winkle 12 beer. Have you, Ken? Um, I knew Kurt hadn't. I wasn't sure about you. I have you not. tend to get you know, out sometimes. Now, I don't know a lot about it, but... Lot B, is it always a 12 year? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. right. Because I've had yeah. Lot B a few years right, back well, when Kevin got it, Trenton. Oh. Okay. I had that, but it's been a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. Let me say this too, Ken. I don't know if you've, had, I can't remember what you had the opportunity to taste or not, but Trenton, remember the only two Pappy related bottles that I could say that I, that I liked was the Trenton's. 15. The first one he got was the 10 year. I thought that was really good. And the 15 year. 15 was awesome. Everything else I've had, I you, you remember I gave away the samples, the rest of the samples. I had other people that would like to try them yeah. because I just wasn't a big fan. Yeah. 
Completely but, agree. Oh, well. Sorry about that. Well, um, this next <laughs> one was... Oh, well. It was Kurt's... Kurt's fourth but place. But remember, they said they're not surprised this was last place. Yeah. Yeah, so who knows where we're going well, after that? Bad, so. <laughs> All right, Kurt's fourth, Kent's third. This is what coming up next. Okay, yeah. what you got? Okay, which <laughs> which one? Which one is that, buddy? Obviously, from the bottle, this is a old. sixteen. Sixteen. That is a distillery only release. Old Just, fits. Okay, because I've never oh. seen it. That's <laughs> sixteen that year old Fitzgerald. That was also a fresh open. And what? Fresh crack. Yeah. What uh, letter was this one again? That was actually, that would be A for me, right? Yeah, that was A. Hmm. Well, that came around to me a lot. And as I spoke before with Ken, it could have went either way with uh, my so what, fourth or third place. That was A? Yep. Um, what do you know about it? That it's a distillery only release. Same mash bill and stuff as 16 as, year. Uh, normal releases with weeder. Just a distillery release, sixteen year. I wouldn't Pretty have small batch. a couple weeders. I, it, Jay, I wouldn't have. There's there was a malted barley vibe to me to that. Really? I, well, that's probably the wheat. You know, you get some grain. I get yeah, You're some I guess. grain in there because it's a weeder. But I wouldn't have. I would even to the second. I wouldn't have related that to the old Fitzgerald sixteen year type. I just wouldn't have. Well, you said sour, didn't you? It, and I just well, tasted sour, it again. Like it's still turkey. just a little bit. Yeah. yeah I, that's yeah. the main reason it's usually not like that so much. So it's a little bit different. All right. What do we got next? So I mean, this would be Kent's fourth and my third. Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. I've never even seen this okay. round. I have not Bakers. had that one. I have not had this one. I have not had. Well, I don't know what. Yeah. Year that is. Hmm. I just got the Baker's thirteen today. Wow, Baker's thirteen. Yeah, I haven't old. had I haven't had thirteen. I've had seven. Trend, I haven't had either of these yet. Not not I haven't had a sip of any of these before. Pages yeah. and Pages and Poor says I don't believe in killing unicorns. Y'all should send them to me and I'll let them live happily in a unicorn <laughs> refuge. He would too. <laughs> All right, so then both of us agreed on our second and first place. Yeah, yeah. So I'm really curious of what the second place is. This is this is a very unique palette profile. No oh, way. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. No yeah, way. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good too, dude. It's you really see that? good, yeah. This <laughs> this is now which one is this? It's the first pick we did. Very first one. <laughs> And that no, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a bam. <laughs> that thing is so good. It's so good. Wow. Well, wow. Well, got it right, didn't it, Trenton? What? And now Nobody I can go back it. to it Nobody after I know it. It's it's like a no. deep dark chocolate brownie nut. Is what that is. <laughs> brownie nut. Yep. It is. You said that in such Here a way. Here we go. It is. <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> Any guesses on the winner? Think well, of, think yeah, of the theme, hey, hold right? on. I am. I'm you thinking of the weed. The the this was the this well, is the winner, right? Well, I, I'm wondering if it's Bernheim. Hmm. If, it's their, if it's their barrel proof option. Think that it's was weeded. a phenomenal <laughs> think bottle. Of, but it's not a weeded bourbon. It's a weeded. Think of last video we did. Hmm. Trenton. I can't remember what happened 10 minutes ago. Uh, it just came out we did. And I haven't watched it yet, or otherwise I would have remembered because okay. I'm not as old as him. But uh, Is that the seller age? Is that the, is that the maker's mark? No. Is that the... No. I, I did know. not... I, I did get it. That'll be Monday's video, but I did not... Spoiler put it, alert. I did not put that in this blind. Okay. I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, it's definitely Maker's Mark, though, huh? What is that? It's Maker's Mark DNA, 125 proof. I love it. It is fabulous. Okay. It makes sense. What is that? Because I was excited when you said you got the seller age. I'm like, because you know I'm a Maker's fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a big Maker's <laughs> yeah, fan. Yeah, I know you are. So it doesn't, make, it doesn't surprise me one bit. Jay, this uh, got to be your bottle, right? No. Trenton. That sits in my desk drawer at home. Dude, what, when did you get this? It sits in your car. What I don't. <laughs> what uh, next to the garbage can. Burn. Somebody was at a liquor store in our Discord and they posted it and I met, sent them a message about it and they 
Make it up for me. And you're just now sharing this with me? Wow. Yeah. What a shame. <laughs> well, for shows like this. That. that I, will, I will say two things. I'm dumbfounded. That's Maker's Mark. Obviously, every one of these pours wasn't a bad pour. No. Um, no. But I'm pretty excited about this because I was actually there for this one. Yeah, you I were. I was part of it. Yeah, you were. So that's pretty exciting that it topped these. A lot of people are asking what um, old elk that is. Can you guys explain? Yeah, this is our old elk weeded bourbon. This is a barrel pick that Trent, Michelle, myself, and Kent we went up to uh, in in Colorado, and we and we went actually went to the distillery, and we chose this barrel. So this, but this has been how long ago? Does anybody remember? A year and a half. Yeah. A year and a half ago. Uh, we picked it last April. Yeah, and, it wasn't quite summer. Yeah. Yeah. And all of us, when we went there, were excited about the weeded bourbon because mm -hmm. that's what we liked on their standard releases. Correct. Sorry. And we got there. Sorry, go ahead, Trent. Ben Cribs, DNA might be from Patrick Leach. That is exactly right. Thank you, Patrick, for hooking hooking me up with this one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, great. Incredible. Um, but yeah, we went through the lineup of the straight mm -hmm. whiskey. Mm -hmm. uh, what was their other the weeded bourbon and what was the other? What's their other uh, weed whiskey? Weed whiskey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, we weren't happy with the particular barrels of mm -hmm. the weeded bourbon. Mm -hmm. And we asked for a couple more. Yeah. They came down and then we're yeah. like, oh, that's the one. I mean, that's it was immediate. It was delicious. <laughs> yeah. And it's just, it's got a, yeah. it's got a, it, it's, um, it's got a kind of almost kind of, you ever had Kent with a, with a pan of brownies and you got that edge that just, that just got charred just a little bit on the edge. You know what I'm talking about, Kayla, where it's oh, just yeah. a little burnt around the outside. That's what it's like to me. Yeah. Do you like to that? Me. The edges? Huh? Do evidently, you like the brownie edges. Evidently, I love these. Ev evidently, <laughs> yeah. I do. Yeah. You know, you know, they make an edges only brownie pan. Huh? They yeah. They make an edges only brownie pan. I have no idea. So every brownie has an edge. Or I guess no idea. if you make a brownie pan and Kale. eat the whole pan as one brownie, just technically, wow. pans? you should be a philosopher awesome. with that kind of mindset. <laughs> You've had it before, no, but like it's been snacks. a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, well. it's just it's it's really good stuff. But I'll tell you what, Trenton, Jay. This this baker's so mark, man. Yeah. Yeah. Is. I'm I'm really? I'm telling you the truth. It's extremely reminiscent of a very good Elijah Craig barrel proof release. Yeah, and you can have it. Oh, okay. Um, the <laughs> the uh, that was poured for you. Fabulous. Thank you. Um, Fabulous. The thing is, and Trent knows this, uh, and Kurt knows this, but I'm a big fan of makers. I've got quite a few bottles of different types of makers. Mm -hmm. I like their standard makers. I like the one-on-one makers. I, I, I'm i just a fan of makers. He is. I really am. Yeah, he is. And um, I think he's got more makers bottles than anybody that I know that, <laughs> at home. And that is a really solid, solid bottle. Unbelievable, really. Really I'm, solid bottle. I'm, I'm I didn't even know anything about a DNA project. I'd never heard of it. Me either. At all. Dumbfounded. So, yeah, that's fantastic. Well, if you couldn't Thank you, tell, Patrick. this is a weeded blind. Uh, yeah, I can and see. And yeah. 13 is the odd one out. What's the other theme that you were telling me about earlier, though? Well, it didn't end up happening. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I guess it didn't. Yeah, I, it wasn't. I, never I, mind. Almost, so C I, I almost one. switched out either the, the Our Pick or the Baker's for uh, an antique, Weller antique, hmm. but... No, this, this is a good lineup. This is a good lineup. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm very. I'm, we I'm, had a, we yeah, had a I'm freaking Buffalo Trace in there anyway. So I was like, yeah. I'm very happy that you didn't really try to, you know, put a a boomerang into this whole. But thing. I haven't. I haven't had this. Uh, it's something. There's there's a few bottles. Um, you know, Carrie tastes every bottle I have. Yeah. Um, and she'll give her opinion and moves on to the next new one because she's not going to have a pour of it. Um. But there's a few bottles that I say keep your eyes open for because uh, she doesn't know what she's looking for. Mm -hmm. But I'll say one or two or three if you see it. And Baker's 13 has been one of them that I wanted to get. Yeah. Um, I like Baker's 7. I wanted to try the 13. You know what yeah. I mean? I think the last yeah. time they did it was like, what, four or five years ago. Yeah, so I, 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 they, that was one of the ones I put in her head over the years. You know, if you ever see it, grab it. Um, they actually used it. to do Baker's 11-year picks, 
Really? And they might be reviving that. I've been really hammering mm. uh, some folks at Jimmy Pretty cool. to give us yeah. a barrel of that. But well, yeah, that's that's well, a lot. And it's one of those things where I was like, man, I would like to do stuff that's more available to, to folks. Because mm-hmm. um, you got a pack, you got a you got a distillery only release. You got some that just came out. You have one of our picks that's been sold out. I don't know what the availability of the DNA is. Well, I've never heard of it. Yeah. So that's have probably a good sign that it's probably hard to find. I haven't either. <laughs> but, like, when, when I get stuff from, whether it's from a store or anywhere, like, I usually open it and share it with you guys. Or we open it for a show or something, yeah. so it ends up getting open. There was nothing that I could really find that was readily available that, that we hadn't opened at some point or that you guys hadn't had at some point. Yeah. Well, the only one I've had up here is the, is the old Elkar barrel pick. Yeah. So I, I, I knew you that. guys would have had that. I was like, let's see how this stands up to like some pretty big names. And, stand up pretty good. We, yeah, yeah. People <laughs> so, were calling it the Pappy Killer. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I just, uh, I have not been a huge Pappy fan. I just have not. Sorry to say that. I Trends 10 year and then the 15 years, I'd rank it to 15 year and then the 10 year and the rest of them you can just throw in a, a pile yeah. and uh, I'm not. The 15 year I'm was, not a big fan. I remember that. That was phenomenal. That was mm. uh, amazing bottle, mm. um, and I, I don't know that uh, there. There's a lot of bottles that stand up price wise that blow this out of the water when you compare pricing. I don't know how you think you know? about this, Kent, Trenton, Jay, but for me, if you're if you're willing to spend a couple dollars at a reasonable rate, and you're and you're an extreme bourbon enthusiast. Hunter, go for the Buffalo Tra- Buffalo Trace Antique Collection and leave Pappy alone. That's what mm. I think. Because I agree. 15. 15, 15 was great. Old Rip even is just... Yes, so but, yes but the, the, to yeah. me, the George T., all that stuff, and I haven't had all of them. I haven't, but I've had I've a had few all of them. One. You have Only huh? because I've seen wow. them in... I, I've spent some money... Yeah. Um, oh, have you had pours? And probably stupid had pours. Okay. Of a couple that I okay. haven't I haven't uh, been around, but I've had all but one, and uh, haven't had Sazerac. Yeah. That's the only one I haven't tried. Um, yeah, I, yeah. But I, I will I say, and I, and I think I'm probably taking off on my bike at least, at least if not tomorrow, the next day, and going up towards Traverse City is my plan. Um, and there's a place called Low Bar. A uh, little speakeasy, and they have a great mix, mm. I, I, a huge selection, and they do a, the pours are half price if you get three of them. All right. So that's where I had okay. three of the antique collection. All right, well, nice. And knocked yeah. them out all in one, one yeah. shot. And it was yeah. 75 bucks for three pours right. of the antique collection. I mean, yeah. Yeah. why yeah. not? Why not? For I sure. mean, it sounds stupid, but why not mm-hmm. at that point? Right. Well, here's the agenda All right, dude. for for the next X amount of minutes. I have no idea what picks that uh, that I have at home. So this is just going to be if you get picked, I'll send you something. That, that we have. <laughs> I mean, That's we, were, we were just doing some work in there. I know you have a, an old elk rum agricole. Mm-hmm. I have an I have an old you elk have rum some agricole. Sagamore stuff there. I got some Sagamore, and I think you have some Yellowstone. We do have Yellowstone. We do have Yellowstone. Those are the three. Yeah. I, I didn't remember see writing anything else. boxes for those three. So I, I didn't see any, Yeah, correct. Yeah. yeah I'm labeled. That's the only reason I know. Rum. Yeah. Sagamore. DNA. I, I hit it back here. Oh. <laughs> Get up there, I don't blame you. I don't blame you because that's fantastic. Hey, Jay. <laughs> so, what, you want a little more? <laughs> I got something for you to try for you. Oh, just it's just it's little it's tiny. Screw cap. Just little. Cash. Ma- I know, Maker's Own Water. Brent Sorry. Young says, if you're going to Traverse City, go to Grand Traverse Distillery. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been to Traverse City a couple times and um, love, love the area. Um, but Low Bar was cool. That was a cool place. But I will definitely check that out. So when I was there, I was with my wife and she wanted to go to the wineries. So okay. we did That's a lot cool. of that. There's a lot of good ones up there. Yeah. Oh, Sorry, Trent. Go ahead. Uh, the raffle is live. Do exclamation point. No, no, it's not raffle. Exclamation point raffle in the chat. You'll get a ticket. Please just do it once. You, if you type it 9 million times, you don't get 9 million tickets. Just do it once. Lowercase letters. Yeah, yeah. Lowercase yeah. letters, exclamation point raffle. And don't say anything important right now because I won't see it. <laughs> um, Sorry. I, 
I have some some bottles that for Kurt and Ken to try that I know they haven't had. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have Michelle finish reading the donations. There's a lot. So There's bear a with few, me. so just bear with her. And you guys are the boys awesome. are gonna taste this voyage. The boys. Oh. But we'll uh, we'll, spill. we'll have Michelle read the the donations. I do every time I pour. <laughs> Carrie doesn't. I don't know how she does. All right, Trent. You know what I gotta do, right? I want to put that back for. So this has been killing me. Go ahead. No, nothing. I was just. Saying. Go ahead. You're good. I don't know what you're saying. You're good. Go ahead. <laughs> well, you know what I'm. You know what I'm going for here. I this has been killing me. Now Trent and I did a video. I seen it. Yeah, on the on this uh, Master's Keep voyage that just came out. The biggest deal with it was that it increased in price yeah. exponentially. I mean, it went up. To three hundred bucks yeah. in our area. Yeah, I did at talk least to hundred bucks. I did talk to Maybe some a folks. More. A little more. I did talk to some folks that were able to get it for two seventy five. So, Trent, you all right in there? Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> but you know, for for us, it was two ninety nine. Yeah. So, I did I did open it up and leave it sit for an hour or so before the show. I gave it you know, but I haven't touched it since then. Okay. So well, I wanted you to, you haven't had it, right? Uh, no. I, I mean, I didn't no. think so. No. Uh, I do want you to check it out. It is and a... you haven't uh, had it since it was open. I have not. Okay, so no. that's interesting too. No, but it's uh, finished in Jamaican rum casks. I remember, I remember the show. I watched it. How old was the, the wild turkey in here, bud? You remember? I don't Ten remember. Ten year. That's why. It was a ten year wild yeah, turkey bourbon. Good. And it was actually finished, Kent, in a 14-year Jamaican rum, Appleton, Appleton Estates right, right. rum barrel. So just for comparison purposes, mm -hmm. Decades won the, that blind, the blind or whatever. Keep blind. Right. Um, do you remember the year on that as far as age? No, let me see. Do you have any idea? No, I'll find out. I'm just curious. If it says anything well, on here. Oh, there it is. It doesn't say it. I had to have to look it up. Yeah, I was just curious, you know, okay. if it was a lot older or... Uh, well, I, I did read that ten year, a 10-year bourbon is one of the lowest aged bourbons they've released okay. in a master's keep. But I think they but were... I putting think it in what, a rum is throwing a curveball right that's after right. that. So. so in my opinion, why put in a 15-year-old bourbon when you're going to be finishing in an aggressive sure, rum cask? Sure. Absolutely. You know, so I, I kind of understand that. I don't have a problem with that, really, per se. So, to me, it was just a few other things, and I just, I'd just i like to get your opinion. I want to taste it, too. This is a little bit nerve-wracking, but I want to taste it, too, and see. You know, I want it to be good. Because he hates to say anything bad about anything wild turkey. <laughs> yeah, and I don't really like saying anything bad about anything, but, you know, sometimes you just got to be honest, so it is what it is. Michelle's got like 25 donations to catch up on. Oh, go ahead. Cow. Yeah. All right. Thank you, everybody. My goodness. The Edge 883, uh, $19, nope, I'm sorry, $20 donation. There's no comment, though, but thank you. Thank the you edge. very much, The Edge. The Edge. Donovan Gibson, $5. Love the channel. Love the community. <laughs> Cheers from Kentucky. New to bourbon and to all of you. Oh, wait, no. New to bourbon and you all give great advice. Thank you, Donovan. Uh, Thank you, Donovan. Do they give good advice? I wouldn't listen to Trent. My yeah, my advice is not sus, good. Sus, I guess. Yeah, sus. That's a good way to put it. Sus. <laughs> I, I say that all the time. Yeah. He has actually. He does now. <laughs> Brian, ten dollar donation. I'm now broke and my wife hate me, hates me, <laughs> but I found a new awesome hobby. Thanks, SLV. Uh, we apologize, Brian, to your wife and your bank. And to you. And to you. But thanks for being here and thanks for the donation. <laughs> Thank you. Joshua hmm, Revis? I'm so sorry. There's some vowels and a Z in there, and I don't know what to do with that. $10 donation, but no comment. Thank you so much, Joshua. Thank you, Josh. You should have left a comment, Josh. I want to hear what you have to say. Yeah, and I want to know how to say your last name, because I feel bad. Tommy Boy, $5 donation. Someone please give Trenton a map. He needs to brush up on his geography. You guys are <laughs> awesome. Keep up great work. So this is how far behind I am. This was back when we were talking about South Virginia, or whatever you said. Wow. Well, for some quick context, and this is scary, with my knowledge of geography, that was my best class in high school. <laughs> oh, no. Was it, honey? I don't know. It was. <laughs> it was. Okay. 
<laughs> Yikes. Scotty Anderson and then a bunch of other people commented after he commented this. But anyway, five, $5 donation from Scotty Anderson says Detroit City Butcher's Cut Bourbon Barrel Proof is pretty good if you get the chance to try it. And then a ton of people were saying mm. Detroit City um, Distillery is really, really good. Wow. I have a should... Detroit okay. City, I think it's a rye finish in vermouth barrels. Wow. I did not like it. Oh, no. But I would try some more stuff from that. I, I went, like, way out on a limb with that. Well, that's and, way out there. Yeah. I would not want... I, I personally don't think I would ever like anything finished in a vermouth barrel. But that's it, just me. It was interesting. That's my yeah. personal yeah, that's, taste. That's not something that I go <laughs> shooting back out to. There. It is. Yeah. Their, their packaging's really neat. But. And it's Detroit, so... Yeah. yeah. My people. Brian Wazorovich... 30 plus years in bourbon and usually no more than 10 bottles on the shelf, but after this channel, I'm at 50 and oh desperately trying to keep this at a hobby level. <laughs> but now I'm a patron and on Discord and da da da. Yep. Well, hey, I'll tell you. Yeah, you know. um, I'm sorry. sorry, Brian. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a patron, um, but just being part of the group, I can't even keep up with the barrel picks. Yeah. I'm like, man. <laughs> What am I going to give you? 500 bucks a month? You know, <laughs> they're, they're cranking out a lot of them, but I, I will say they're great bottles, every one of them. Yeah. Um, I've had, a, I'm lucky to taste them all. And uh, they usually don't last long for me. There, <laughs> there are good bottles. So we have some cool picks coming up. What is that? Next, next week? Following week? Me, Kurt, Kent, Michelle are going on some picks. We'll talk about that. In a little bit. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm excited going. about that. It's been a little yeah. bit for me to yeah, hang along. It is. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna try and Am I we gotta talk about that. I don't know what's happening. Oh, great. Maybe maybe Michelle isn't going, but hey. we'll, we'll see. I'm gonna try. Maybe, maybe yeah, we need to do a Malort pick and bring Caleb. <gasps> He's a Malort <laughs> specialist. <laughs> if, you, if you That's want the word on the street, Caleb. If you want a Malort I like giving it to people to see their face. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a Malort barrel aged pick. We can probably do that. Oh, yeah. Oh. Is that a thing you can do? Yeah. <laughs> it is? Yeah. Oh. We need to not do that. Just, not just regular Malort. They age it in some sort of barrel. I don't know for how long or how, how good it is. Is it a garbage okay. can barrel? Because. I don't know. That might make it. They might just pick up some, <laughs> some cans in Chicago. like On the street? Yeah, oh. on the street. and. <laughs> That's not how they make it already? <clears throat> You just fill up your Glen Karen that. with vodka? Right. I'm, yep. I'm oh my, happy birthday. Yeah. $20 from Hooch. The Found North single barrels are coming out soon. Ooh. Any chance? We need to look into that. The Question problem mark. is, I was told we could do a Found North pick, but they're expensive. There's like 175 bucks. Ooh, okay. And I don't know, mm. there is a couple picks that I think we would be comfortable with that price point, but I don't think Found North is one of them. And I think there's actually only one pick I'd be comfortable, and that's 13th Colony, which we do have a pick of next year. Yeah, I don't know. That's a lot of money. I didn't yeah. realize it. They don't have anything else to offer other than that. Huh? I don't believe so. Mm. Based yeah. on what, based on after we did the final unless, video, I inquired about. Unless it. we can do a co-op with, we only have to be responsible for yeah. x amount of bottles. I, I yeah. don't think so either. Yeah, I agree. But thanks that's for your donation, Hooch. Thank you, Hooch. Thanks, buddy. Souls Burby, Burby. Burby. Oh my God, I'm so tired. Bourbon family, fifty dollar donation. Thank you. Yeah, Just thank got you home so from much. work, missed the first hour. I'll have to rewatch it later and see what I missed. Happy to see you guys. <laughs> Best way to start off my weekend. Love you all. Yeah, we love you. Love you. Love you. Well, I'll, I'll forgive you this time for missing the first hour. <laughs> you How dare right you? On time, so How I'll dare you be employed? <clears throat> Roland G. Mandish, five dollars. Any thoughts on the old elk cigar cut? I just enjoyed a pour of it recently. I just bought it. Did you? Like, not too long ago. Uh, I don't know, five, six weeks ago. What did you think? Now, here, here's what I'll say. I don't know how to compare it because I don't have any other cigar blends or I don't have the Joseph Magnus. I don't, I don't have any of those. Mm. It's the first cigar cut that I have, and I like it. Um, Is it a little bit more raw and kind of in your face? Well, it's Oh, for sure. It's not... Uh, <clears throat> It's pretty standard. It's not exactly what I expected, but I've never had one. Mm -hmm. um, but no, it's harsh. Yeah, it's harsh. It um, usually has. Usually they have some pretty decent flavors, but it's it's it's. Did you have that kale? Harsh it in your face a little bit. The old duck cigar cut. I don't think I tried it. No. Um, yeah, it's a little harsh. I, I won't say it's not good. I enjoyed it, but would I buy it again? Probably not. Maybe it'll mellow no. out a little bit as it opens maybe. up too. A little maybe. bit too. Because they tend to be. But I haven't had any, any other experience other than that one. 
Yeah. Um, sorry. Carlos Garcia says Luscious from Portugal. He's in Portugal right now? He's been in Portugal. Oh, yeah. He, really? Yeah. He has? He was for our, for our Patreon live stream. He was still there. Okay. Oh. And I said I didn't know where Portugal was. Oh, okay. Right, right. Bunch, bunch of crap. Yeah, he, <laughs> yeah, <it wasn't> <laughs> he responded one. on Facebook and said, I'm going to stay up for this. And I'm like, Aww. okay, yeah, 8, eight o'clock's like, not too bad. But, yeah. <laughs> but now you're in Portugal, I, I get it. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Old Tractor Garage, again, $20 yeah. donation. Thank you. Katie, you got to save money for gas. Seriously. Thank you, Katie. To get back here and hang out again. Especially because, <laughs> listen to this. She says, going to Wyoming Whiskey, Cowboy Country Distilling, High West, and Old Elks Reserve on wow, this trip. Nice. Between other touristy things, they're nice. like living the dream right now, I think. Yeah. yeah, you need to save that money. That sounds like an expensive I, I trip. Yeah. We were... Thank you, that. Bill. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> we're very fortunate to have the family we have here on this channel. I mean, you guys are just incredible. It's one thing I think I'm most proud of is the family that we have here at SLB. It's just super great people all positive for the most part everybody lifting each other up in the comments and everything else for the most part you always get every once in a blue moon but you know it just brings me down when i see people in certain threads that are just so i mean it's 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 like it's just it's gut-wrenching to me, the people that fight on these threads and just go at each other's throat. It just drives me out of my mind. Very thankful for each and every one of you. We say that a lot. I know I say that a lot. but You do say that a lot. That's okay. It's I'm going to continue to say it because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very humbled and uh, thankful for each and every one of you. That's for sure. Well, quick, what do you guys think of the boys? All right, here's my thought. Yep, go ahead, Kent. I want to so hear you me. have your... Your wild turkey sour kind of yeah. that, that's its sweet vibe. sour that's its vibe. Sure. I don't think it matches well with the uh, with the rum. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you this though. Because of that reason. It has opened up a little bit better. The flavors kind of meld. But it doesn't with match with the rest other, of those no. up there. <laughs> they they kinda trust me, I'm just speaking of when yeah. Trent and I first tried it. Yeah. I feel like it's it it kind of intertwines a little bit there, but I still have to say it's my least favorite. But I, I of the think it's, it's specifically because of that sour aspect of wild turkey mm -hmm. doesn't mm -hmm. match with rum. That's what I get out of that bottle. That's a good point. That's a good point. I, I, I we haven't even talked about that. Their particular flavor profile, you know, just may not be one that's set up for a rum finish. Yeah, I don't think yeah. it is. Yeah. That's, really that's a great point. I'm, I'm glad you taste that because we haven't said that. I haven't even thought about that. But I think you're you're on the money with that. So for me, you know, I do feel it opened up a little bit better than when we first tasted it on our on our on our show. But it still lands in the last gonna place gonna of my collection. Keep sipping this maker's mark. And for the price, <laughs> that's and that's well, the and thing. Yeah. You add that to the mix, Jay. You're 100 percent. 300 right. bucks. 100 percent. Right. A huge price increase, and then there's you're only been three or four bottles that I've ever tasted that I'd pay 300 bucks for. <laughs> you're gonna throw that. That's out definitely there. not one. Mm. <laughs> not a not a good oh. choice on your first bottle for that big of a price increase. I think that's a good point. Well, Michelle's gonna read a couple more, but I have a bottle. Okay, that's two. What I was gonna ask you. That I know you haven't had. Okay. That I'm gonna have you try. That's it's a always Scott. exciting. It's a Scott. Well, I've got some real glasses oh. here, Trenton, so we're all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Wade Coon, ten dollar donation. No um, comment, but thanks, Wade. Thank Jason you. Jason Harris says just watched an older Manhattan cocktail video, so just know they're still appreciated. So I the really archives. like Kurt's cocktail videos. Yeah. I really yeah. do. I still revisit them. To make some stuff down in the basement, yeah. yeah. Nice. So I know you're a, you're an Ardbeg fan. You've been looking uh -oh. at you've been looking oh, at yeah. Dark Cove for a while. <laughs> yeah, bring bring on the bizarre BQ. Unfortunately, <laughs> I couldn't find a Dark Cove. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anybody that can. So I, I threw it out there to you a couple times because I figured if, if anybody, anybody could, he try. would try. He would try. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what you I know, did for sure. find because. If you're not familiar with Scotch, and I'm not super either, but from what it sounds like, the limited or the community releases from Ardbeg the last couple of years haven't been. No, haven't been really and up I've to talked, stuff. It's oh, weird. I talked to you about it. Yeah. My thing there with Trenton is they have a couple of of their regular releases, the Corey Vreckin and the Ugadol, that to me are just like, wow, they're really good. 
and, and the committee releases haven't even come close to measuring up that. to those. I want that last year to know. So and they're expensive, but yeah. What I was able to find they're usually one hundred fifty bucks was the Galileo two thousand eleven art bag release. Never even heard of it. I know you haven't. <laughs> That's why I got it. Uh oh, Galileo. Now wait, Trenton. I wish what? I had a play. Is this a, is this Galileo? I was just gonna say. <laughs> I just listened to Bohemian no. Rhapsody today. Is that? I was gonna sing it for you. Is that? <laughs> is that the the release was 1999 or no, is that just a thing? No, 2011. That's when it was. 2011. Uh, yeah, it was aged. I believe, and this is a years. committee release. Do you know? I've no, never heard of it. I, you didn't I do any research, for, did you? No, I saw it. He's like, like, I found cool. an old bottle of this. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's exactly what happened. That is exactly what happened. I know you, Trenton. I know. I'll look into this later, but yeah. All right, I'm in for it. I'm hey, that's, that's worth it. Well, for just sure. so you know, Kurt, Pages and Pores. Yes. Says, oh, he's yeah. he's jelly right now. Yeah, but he he's says, jelly. I have a bizarre barbecue. Do you want a sample? I, I had I had a pour. Remember, honey, we had that pour in Arizona. We did. I did. <laughs> I apologize. I had that pour She's in Arizona. Like, it was at, great. <laughs> at Trevor's Liquor. That was the one I had with it was the bizarre barbecue. And Gandy Rhodes. And actually, it was pretty good, Robert. It, I thought it was pretty decent. Gandy Rhodes says he likes it too. He's sipping on it. The bizarre barbecue. Yep. Yeah, I thought it was pretty decent. Way to rub it in. <laughs> I thought it was a step up from some of the ones I've had. I've got the R bag with like forty-seven R's that yeah. I didn't think was very good. I got the black sheep. I think it's called. That I didn't think was very good. So bizarre barbecue was actually not too bad. All right, I'm going to read a couple more while you're pouring and sniffing and doing all that. Crypto Junkie, that. $5 yeah. donation, sipping on an old soul cask strength. Happy Friday and cheers, fellas. Happy oh. Friday. Thanks, hey, the old, Junkie. the old soul, old soul I just got introduced to before the show started. Oh, really? I just Kurt, got, Kurt had me do a pour of that, and oh, I, I agree. That. It's good. I got that. I just got the high rye. It's good, though. Soul, and it's really good. Old soul puts out some good stuff. Tommy Boy, this is an interesting yeah. donation and comment. Tommy Boy, ten dollars. Thanks again. Smell Congrats, SLB, on a sixteen hundred smaller. plus live stream. You guys are doing something right. That's what we've. Did we hit that match? Yeah, I think we did. I don't know. I'm Last nervous. I saw was sixteen ninety two. Wow. Well, now I'm nervous. Uh -oh. Thanks for telling. Like. <laughs> a couple people are watching right now. Kurt. <laughs> Thank you. Guys. Thank you, I mean, Tommy. Thank you. That's the thing that I say it again and again and again and again. It's just. The community at SLB is just, it's very humbling, and you guys are just incredible. It's they pretty amazing fire. stuff. Okay, fire. Kevin Page, $100 donation. Oh. Kevin, stop it. Thank you. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, thank you, buddy. Every that, time. Another great tasting and really great bottle selection. You. Love this channel. This channel loves you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, thank you. Real quick, Jimmy White, um, his birthday was yesterday, so happy Ooh. belated birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy and Jay. Sharing, sharing birthdays, kind of. Pretty close. Close enough. Almost birthday twins. Did you taste it? Oh, man. Jim West, $20 <laughs> I can't donation. Get off the smell. Jim West says, another great lineup. Oh, did you try it, Trenton? Are you trying it? No, this is Old Fit 16. Oh, <laughs> He's like, yeah. no. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even get off the aromas of this. Let me smell that. This is specifically for Robert. Pages and poor. Um, oh, Robert, absolutely not. Robert's been the... Uh, <laughs> hey, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> Robert's been down in the basement. We shared a video together and had a great that, time. Yeah. He's one of our patrons and just a great, great individual. <laughs> he has his own mm. YouTube channel called Pages and Poor. He is a, an English, a retired that. English teacher, so... Yeah. You know, every time I hear Robert's name, I always got to kind of, try to keep track of my my speech. He and was language. a lot more proper than you were. That <laughs> Without day. question. On that Without question, but hey. <laughs> but let me just tell you something. If you ever come back this way, Robert, you got to stop by for. I, I can't even get out of the aromas of this. Wait till you taste it. I'm getting some tropical notes, some pineapples, <laughs> Wait till you taste this it. and that, along with that beautiful, smoky Ardbeg classic. Wait till you taste it. Mm. <laughs> That's outstanding. That's delicious, Trent. I'm waiting for a text from Paul. Paul, <laughs> you've sent me probably, Paul, you sent me probably 30 samples. I owe you a sample at least. That's that's one you're going to get because that's... Yeah. That's outstanding. I, I don't know about you, Ken, but I get an enormous pineapple note 
on that, along with the. I couldn't then, tell you. Then, <laughs> I don't need hey, pineapple. <laughs> um, that's true. <laughs> that's true. He doesn't know what that tastes like. This is really good. Caleb, do you eat vegetables? Oh, yeah. He eats about anything, really. Okay. Well, yeah, he, you said you eat raw potato. Okay. <laughs> he didn't take after me on that. This is just too great. much, but. Yeah, there's not many foods I won't at least try. Is there any food you don't eat? It's smoky. It's a little gritty. It's a little, it's a little ashy. Man. Not, not really. But don't it reminds me of pineapple. <laughs> Seriously. Um, definitely more tropical than this. But what was the bottle you bought when I was with you in Carmel, Indiana that was non filtered? Yeah, that was the black bot- adder. This has a little bit of that mm-hmm. feel to it. Mm hmm. With a little more of yeah. the tropical yeah, yes. added to it. Yes. Yeah, really good. Man. I this, love it. Yeah, this is awesome. Thank you, buddy. I, that's that's really, really good stuff. But wait, Can you say the name more. of that again? People want to know. I don't even know, honey. I got to look at it. <laughs> this is called Galileo. 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 Trent says Galileo. it's a 2011 release. And if, yeah. No, it actually says here, kid, distilled in 99, bottled in 2012. Oh, well, I don't know what I'm talking about then. That's all right, dude. You're pretty close. You're pretty. This is not your bag anyway. But Scotch isn't your hard bag. Galileo. So, if you can get your hands on one, that's a great bottle. I've never even seen it in a bar for a pour or anything. That's where I usually find some of the older hard bags. The taste is definitely not as aggressive as the smell. Oh, well, good to know. What's the proof? You're you don't do a lot of these type of scotches, right. um, but you're right. Um, some of the the high smoke okay, ar- here. aromas will immediate heartburn. Immediate, you know, oh, it's yeah. like ooh, this is not like that. It's rich. Yeah. Let me read this for you because this is what their notes are in the back of the bottle for the nose: spicy toffee, tropical fruits, and soot. Isn't that wonderful, honey? <laughs> and that sounds just. It sounds delicious. What? <laughs> On the taste is salty, which I didn't even. It is. Let us see what. <laughs> salty lettuce had his hands on this. Yet salty yet sweet with cream and a burst of smoking apricots. Now that's what they say. That's what I'm kind of picking up as pineapple. That's what I got too. Yeah. But uh yeah. Yeah, really. Yeah, it's great. Great. Pour. It's a great bottle. I would love Yeah, I love that. I got one more. Pour this. Wow. And then we'll do the Ooh. we'll do the giveaway and then Jay brought a bottle for us to open. Which seems weird considering it's his birthday. We should have had something for him. But Michelle's going to read the rest of the donations, and I will bring out this bottle for you. And I have to say, I feel really bad because during when the raffle part was going nutty, I know I missed some, and I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, I read this one earlier, but I don't think you guys heard it. Jim West, $20. Another great lineup, he says. Thanks, Thank you, Jim. Jim. Thank you, Jim. Jordan Warren. I thought it was a good lineup. I thought so, too. I'm excited to try some of those in a minute. Jordan Warren, $50. As always, wonderful live. Enjoyed it. Jason and Jordan from Tennessee. Thank you, Jordan Thanks and Jason. Jason Thank and Jordan you guys. from Tennessee. Appreciate it. Joshua Revis. Oh, yeah. Nailed the last name. Okay, I don't think I nailed it that time, though. $10 donation. Also, one. last night of drinking for 75 days while I do 75 hard. Ooh. Good for you. Yeah, Your liver. Fun. Well, thank you. Yeah. Good yeah. for you. We'll and, uh, congratulations. Uh, Thanks for the, yeah, I know. I'll the donation and the kind leave words it. that I said your name right, but I don't think I did it last time. Mark Hall, $10. Thanks for another great Friday night. Awesome win for makers. Gosh, thank you, Thanks, Mark. Glad, Mark. You're, glad we were able to pr- 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 provide you with some entertainment. Yeah. Matthew Sofer? Sofer? Surfer? $10. Love the channel. Appreciate y'all. Thank Thanks, you, Matt. Matt. We Matthew. appreciate you. Um... Well, this one is asking a question about Grammy SLB. Any update on Grammy SLB? Hope and pray all is Thank well. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for your asking. She's yeah. doing better every day. Um, she hurt herself just a little bit last <laughs> week, but you know that's that's a Grammy. Out thing. working in her yard. Out working so in the yard. She was uh, out working. She has a fenced backyard, mm-hmm. and she was irritated with the neighbor in the back that he didn't uh, cut his weeds down as well as she thought. That he should. <laughs> so, if I understand Kent's story correctly, yeah. she was taking one trimming of those long-handled trimmers and trimming them up, and she dropped it accidentally. So she went in, and got an empty five-gallon bucket, <laughs> stepped on it, 
reached way over on the fence to try to pick it up, and the bucket kicked out. She hung on the fence for five, ten minutes. <laughs> so luckily, Kent arrived when he did, and and that's just never uh, that's just something that's going to be. So that's wait, not, my question is: Did you get her off the fence, or she got no? Off the fence and actually, the fence? that I didn't show up. So when I showed up, she goes, "Am I hurting pretty good?" I'm like, <laughs> so "What she happened?" Was off of it already. I'm like, "What happened?" What? And then she explained the story and said, "I was on there for a, quite a while. I couldn't get off the fence." Oh. <laughs> and it, you but know what? it's a, it's all about. She maintains the most meticulous art you can yep. imagine. It's yep. beautiful. She's very OCD about it. Yep. And if a neighbor doesn't feel the same, and one weed is coming through her fence, oh yeah. She gonna take care yeah. of it. Bitter enemies. <laughs> Bitter enemies she remain right take then care and there. And, <laughs> and we chuckle a little bit, but that just comes standard just, with yeah. the original SLB. Yeah. She's the original strong like bull. But that yeah. being said, she's doing That's just what it is. Incredibly better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't yeah. say she's back to you know hundred percent three years ago, four years ago. Though. But she's out doing some yard work and yeah. she's yeah, She's they, they found better. some things. They give her some medication um, for yeah. her thyroid issue was really causing yeah. her heart issue, which was causing her congestive issue. And when I walked in the emergency room with her, and it was just unfortunate for me at the time, Kent was on vacation, Rebecca was gone <laughs> at the time. So it was just me, and they were telling me that, yeah, it's just like, you know, yeah, you got congestive heart failure, and yeah, we'll just do what we can to help you. And it was like, wait, wait, what? She's never had a heart issue. Yeah. But luckily she came, she was able to get in contact with a, really good cardiologist. Kent's been handling yep. all the medical stuff because he was a paramedic. He used to be a paramedic. <laughs> According to my mom. According to my mom. <laughs> so, but anyway, long story short, she's doing much better. Thank you for asking. I know David always asked me about that too, you know, since the family sure. thing there and yeah. he knows and I appreciate all of you for asking. She's no, she's doing much better. She's she's really But she's still eighty four. Yeah. She's eighty four. That's the facts. Don't tell her she's eighty four uh, because she's she doing to it. She's forty eight. Better than yeah. most mm -hmm. eighty four year olds right yeah. now. No question. Thank you. All, all right. right, what do you got, buddy? Do you want me to keep going or are you good? Do a couple more yet. Yeah, go ahead. Well, he's getting Five dollars yeah. from Chase Regano. Cheers, keep up the great content. Thanks, Chase. Thank you, Chase. Bill Boguski. Five dollars. I think that's his name. I think that's how you say it. Uh, enjoy the motorcycle ride. I'm assuming that's for you. Okay. Yeah. Raw potatoes are just fine. Be well. Thanks, Bill. I got to do that here. Somewhere. Yeah, don't let us forget. You were running out of time, so you better get up here. Pages I'm and stalling. fours. Oh, just kidding. I already read that. He was telling you that he had a, the one you were looking for, the Bizarre BQ. Dion Garad, $10. My husband, my husband Travis, and I... Are toasting our SLB family with new riff and old elk. Aw, cheers, love you guys. That's cheers, awesome. two good toasts there. Yeah, some, those are some good. There's those Dion, are some good ones. Yeah. How many were you got? Huh? Uh, one, two, three. Three. Yes, Tuxedo Toolbox says oh, SLB yes. should be. Yeah, he's been <laughs> on here for a hot minute. I love that name. Yeah, <laughs> he says SLB should be allocated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, our uh, our live streams are allocated. We do one a month. So that's, that's sort of, right. well, that's sort of we do an extra special one for patrons only. So we technically, do. maybe that's is allocated. Allocated. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Cruise and Queen, five dollars. Sometimes I call in on those. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Ken did call in on the last one just Aww, to shoot, shoot the on accident. Breeze. Shoot the breeze, yeah. He uh, did, he called I He called mid yeah. and he's like, Hey, you I can't get that? on that. No, I I, was I ended up on the work. phone with him during the live stream on the Patreon. They were laughing, they were like, "I did not." Calling. It was the first live he was stream. Like, I did. He was like, "Hey, I can't get on the live stream." And I was like, "Well, you're on it right now because we're doing it." <laughs> I so I just, I'm on the I'm on live. Hey, yeah. I'm so mad that I missed that. <laughs> Cruising Queen, five dollars. Thanks for everything y'all do for the show. Bourbon Queen here, still waiting for the SLB cruise information. We actually, uh, I've been in talks with some uh, shipyards uh, out of the U.S. We're going to buy a defunct Carnival Cruise Line. <laughs> no, we're not. We're going to paint it black. Don't we're going to put some slides on it. Slides? Uh, into the ocean? No, you know how they oh. like slides into a oh, pool on like, like water an upper deck? Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, it'll be it'll be Pappy uh, 25 pours all, all on And we'll all have the karaoke. Caleb will be singing. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. He's in. He's in. He's in. If you're a patron, this will be free, so check out Patreon. Wow. Oh my so God. just so you know, none of that's true. He hasn't even been drinking. No. No. Good Lord, buddy. Yeah. We might get sued, actually. Yeah. That, we're, there's we not a cruise line. Don't 
don't join Patreon expecting we buy a cruise ship. <laughs> also, <laughs> Carnival, <laughs> don't come for us. We're not buying your defunct ships. Yep. $20 from Brent Vincent. Have you guys tried Buzzard's Roost Char One Rye or Bourbon? It's I have great. not. I have one of their ryes at home in my garage. Oh, no. That I've been meaning to open. So. Has it exploded yet? Has no, it been out there so. for a year and a half or <laughs> just really. short uh, time? Several months. Is it? Yeah. I, I think since I moved in, so maybe about a year and a half. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We are coming up on a year. Yep. Wow. Oh, All right. That's all well, we have for now. This is another scotch, and I know I said I wasn't able to get an Ardbeg Dark Co., which I think is your favorite. But what I, I, I don't know if it is. I've never had it. It's just had rage. It's had rave reviews. Oh. That's all. Well, never had it. You get to try it right now. <laughs> All right, well, first, good lord. I thought you had that at I'll the tell bar. you what. No, I've never had it, not once. I will tell you this. I'm not the scotch guy Kurt is, but if it beats the last one, it's really good. Because that last one well, was awesome. Let me just say this. I, I What's don't this know. about? This is another committee release, and you'll have to see when it was released. Did you, did you read it, Trenton? Did you know when it was released? Nope. <laughs> I didn't do any research. Way to research. And Should I don't have the right? research either, and I apologize for all that, because this is a complete surprise. This is something that's been on, Trent, I put on Trenton's radar for the last, what, two years, <laughs> probably? A lot. It, it has been renowned as one of the best, if not the best, committee release ever from Ardbeg. That's all, that's all I know. Uh, I, I apologize, Kent. I don't even know. Let's see. I'm going to try to read this best again. Take That's this tiny, whiskey others. and hide it well. Blah, blah, blah. It has been matured wow. in dark sherry casks. Oh. Watch the two old men as they try and read. The darkest hard bag ever. <laughs> I don't know. I've got to, I, I've got to study up a little bit of Trent Menace. is too much, really. <laughs> I can only imagine what you paid for this bad boy. It was free. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Man. I just had to trade my lower full report. I'm afraid to open it, to be honest with you. This is, this is like a... Uh, yeah. This is kind of like a... This is like a, one of those moments oh, in your sorry. whiskey journey. You need to have some oyster crackers back here, Kurt, like I do at my bar. Little what kind of pour is that? Cleanse. I learned that from my wife's winery tools. You gotta have some <laughs> oyster yeah. crackers. Someone earlier said bring on the pizza. <laughs> I think that might be the It's coming. Soon. Kurt's been eyeballing it for a while, trust me. <laughs> I've been doing better. I, I've learned through, through our... You open the dark cove and the fly comes out of nowhere trying God to get some. Was it in there? It might have been it. Did it, you unleash the fly? It might have been a... The fly might have been in the dark two flies. Oh, no. <laughs> Great. I've learned through our live stream... In the process is I usually eat a couple pieces of pizza before we start down. I've been fine with that. Before I used I used to wait until after the live stream, right, honey? Because to eat and that didn't go very well. I tried to tell you. I know you did. I should I should have listened to the expert. <laughs> well, I'm before you try. It, Extremely honest. nervous to try this. I have to be honest. Um, I'm going to select a winner. What if it's please do for the for the giveaway. <laughs> Um, if you get called, please type in the chat what you want out of your choices are either uh, Old Elk Rum Agricole finish, delicious. Uh, we did a Sagamore Rye pick, and we have a Yellowstone pick. Just let me know what you want in the chat. The first winner is Judd Porter. Congratulations. Please type in the chat which one you want, and then we'll pick the next one. Congratulations, Judd. I want to know if Robert is still out there. He's, he said, you're opening this without me in all ex, in all caps. And okay, yeah, well, and the only reason I, I keep bringing up Robert, he's the only one I know of that's in the chat, <laughs> or that's in our live stream that really appreciates good scotch, and peated scotch for that matter. But the nose, the aromas, Mr. English teacher, I know it's not nose, it's aromas <laughs> that are coming out of this glass is extreme... You know how the Oogadol is with some dark fruits, things like that? This is times two. There's a lot of dark fruits in there, dried fruits, a little bit of nuttiness. And the... and the, the Smell it. He's explaining it perfectly. The, Smell that. The peat in here is subdued a little bit. Uh, the Galileo head was a little She's bit more freaking prominent. And, you know. 
I mean, this is just uh, the no the the aromas is is out of this world, and that's a neck pour. Robert says. Yeah. Just hit the glass. He says, LOL, call it whatever you want as long as you include me. <laughs> uh, uh, I tell you, he's coming back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He mentioned that he really was sad that he didn't get to meet you, and I can't. Oh, I, I would yeah. really like to meet him, too. Yeah, yeah. Me exactly. Too. Just rang the doorbell. I think I Yeah, I wish. I can't get up. Right. We're trapped Dude, back here. Blackberries. I even get blackberries out of it. Thank you, buddy. So... The Galileo, incredible. One of the better scotches I've had, for sure. Mm-hmm. And I haven't had as near mm-hmm. as much as you have, but mm-hmm. that's one of the best I've had. Yeah. But this, based on the nose, really is good. that with more fruit. Oh, uh, yes. Dark, more dark fruit. Without question. And Definitely with the fruit, fruit, it subdues that peat just a touch, the smokiness. But I haven't tasted it yet. taste is, yeah. But I haven't tasted it yet. On the nose, I'm that's exactly. Just aromas yeah. only. Judd, uh, Porter, I still haven't gotten a response from you. I'll give you one more minute. Thanks, Mike. Um, take, if you take are a not able to respond you do. or you don't respond, I will have to select a another another person. Jason Knoll just became a member. Hey, oh, Jason. nice. Hey, welcome. So he's either doing that at the concert <laughs> that he's at with my wife right now and his <laughs> wife. Yeah, that sounded real weird. <laughs> um, but, uh, or they've already made it back home. I, and they're waiting on me. It's only ten. Are you all right? Are you all good? Oh my God, that is the most amazing. <laughs> Kurt's having a moment. Peter, you scotch tasted it? That I've ever had. Okay. I wasn't going to taste it until Kurt did. No, I did. Oh, he did. <laughs> I went there. Mm. All right. Mm. So I don't, I don't know how many people are watching the show. A lot. But... I just got nervous because everybody's looking at me in this room. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> it's exactly what I said in the nose. So the Galileo, fantastic. This is exactly like the Galileo with a ton of fruit. Dark, dark plums, fruits. blackberries, oh, all that yeah. stuff thrown in. Dried, oh my gosh, yeah. Dried cherries even. There's some... Mm. All kinds of stuff in there, and the peat isn't as heavy as as the other one. The I'm struggling here. I'm trying to find. Okay, Kent, this is 110 proof, which is I knew it was elevated a little bit, but it is so well balanced too. It's the it's it's an extremely wow well balanced, full of flavor. Fruity, dark fruits, so now cherry, I'm, I'm dried fruits, here. stone fruits. I handed it off for Caleb to try. Wow. And I'm sitting here still <laughs> tasting that's, that's every second of it. I'm still hanging on there. The finish, right. hanging on. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really good. I think, I have. I, I need to think more about it, but... I'm not a, I'm not a huge scotch collector because that could be very expensive. But I do have some bottles, and I do enjoy sipping scotch. I, 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 I have to say that's probably the best scotch sip I've ever had. That's, that's, now, keep it in mind, it's peated. Cool. Some folks don't like peated, and that's okay. You don't no, have to. That's cool. For me, I like both. So for me, I have to, I have to say, I just I don't know anything else at the top of my head that would say it would be better than that. That's, that's, that's really probably good. the most amazing I haven't had all yours, scotch pour I've ever had. And the... 20, 25 that I have uh, have been suggestions of yours um, for the most part. Mm. And I like them, but I don't have anything that even comes close to that. That's, And I thought that... <laughs> put that up here, too. Uh, real Those quick. two are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I amazing. Skip Judd Porter. I did not receive any message. The next I'm winner sorry, buddy. I'm is sorry. Noah Staggs. Noah, if you're here, please type in the chat what you would like. And we will select the the next person. I'll give you a couple minutes. Yeah, sorry about that. The second time that's happened. Yeah, it's a bummer. You Trent, think- thank you, buddy. That that that's uh, I don't know. I I'm not going to ask. I don't want to know. He just said. I just told you. What? He traded his full uh, Weller foolproof for it. Sixty bucks. That's pretty. Are pretty you easy. You kidding me? <laughs> I paid fifty bucks for that Weller foolproof. <laughs> Are you joking? Nope. 
Kurt would have had 17 of those by now if he didn't know Somebody that. traded you that for a Weller foolproof. You definitely got the better. I am. Um, I definitely did. Absolutely amazed. Well, maybe. Maybe well, that person that's true. That's <coughs> isn't true. a Scots person and you okay. really wanted a well yeah. uh, foolproof. Well, our foolproof is it a great worked out for as him. well. You know what I mean? For my personal palate, I also like well or foolproof. Sure. But to have this dark cove bottle down here in the collection is just an, an enormous. I'm not gonna lie before the night's up, I'm having not even a full half ounce more of that. Yeah, I want to measure it. But it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to happen. <laughs> we'll wow. wrestle over it. I'm <laughs> trying good job. My goodness, I don't know where you came up with that. But. Now, I've been looking for that wow. for a long time. I know you have. Now I can cross it off my list. Cross it off. That's. Well, it's got to feel good that you've done that that long. Well, And he just said it's the best scotch pour he's ever had. Yeah, I, yeah. I was worried. That's a winner. I was worried. <laughs> I was worried. Well, I was also confused because there's two dark coats. There's a committee release. There's a non-committee release. The committee release is higher proof. Yes. It's like a hundred and something. And that's on every release they have. And and oh, good luck the finding the the actual committee release bottle. Well, this is 110. We got Noah Staggs. This is 110. Yeah, they, they always do that. I'm, I'm good luck finding it. That is the committee release. The non or is it now? That is the committee. <laughs> no, wait a minute. So okay, again, I'm not an, I'm not a Scotch expert, but they have yes, a no committee and a non-committee. So this is the committee. That so is this the is better. the higher proof. That's the better. Wow, one hundred ten. One hundred ten. Okay, my apologies. I All thought right, you meant the other way around. Measure yeah, my half ounce. Good here. luck finding it. I found it. There you go. <laughs> Give me a half. I just. <laughs> All right. Yay, well, okay, Noah. A little more. That was a quarter yeah, ounce. <laughs> Noah, you need to make sure that you email SLB, cool. SLB drinks at gmail.com with your ID. Amazing. ID and address, please. And address, please. Which um, presumably got, is on your ID. Noah picked the Old Elk, so if you get picked, you can do Sagamore or Yellowstone. Great. The next winner, uh, David B Bolware. Bol Bolware? I'm bad at names, so yeah. that David, sounds great. David, if you're here, please pick the Sagamore or the Yellowstone. And I think Jay has one more surprise. Oh my gosh! You got I one more in the curtain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm Here. gonna set that to the side. Here, let's, let's try it. But I want to pour that. So. Oh, oh man! I, got, I mean, if I want to try that. If you Kurt, don't mind my that's prepare unreal. an extra bedroom because Pages of course, Pages of course says he's moving in. <laughs> David, pick the well. Yellowstone. David. I love you. Thank you for picking so quickly. Yay! Thanks, David. Congrats. Thank you, buddy. The final winner before we go on to this Jack Daniels 2023 twice barrel rye. And Trenton eats a potato. And oh, and I eat a potato. <laughs> the last winner is Don Boncroft. Ban Bancroft. Bancroft. Don, I, I see Don is here. Don, if you could just, just if you could just send something. Just um, say a word. Incredible. Say any word. Um, you will get the you'll get the Sagamore. Solid. Solid, Solid choice. choice. Here's the thing though with the Sagamore, you can eat. We did two barrels of Sagamore. Yeah, we did. So Kurt, we we call it Kurt's barrel and my barrel. Uh, my barrel is a little bit. Um, we will uh, yellow stuff. Uh, Don, the only thing left is the Sagamore. Huh? I do have another Yellowstone. Don, if you want the Yellowstone instead of the Sagamore, just let me know, and I can I can send you the Yellowstone instead. Just let me know. I'd be happy to do that, whichever one you like. Congrats to everybody that one. Yeah. Yay, congrats. Thank you, guys. I'm, I'm happy for you all. Jay, Whoa. what's the story of this bottle anyways? Because I've seen it touted yeah. about, but, you know, I don't really look into to allocated and limited release stuff because that's Trenton's bag. So it's a twice-barreled rye. Do you know the... Do you know the... Uh, the you details? Know, the details of twice barreled? No. Okay. That's all right. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't mean to put you on a spot either, brother. I, I just was curious because okay, I don't know. If I can read these small letters. Uh, straight rye whiskey aged in new oak barrels and then matured in our... Uh, Handmade. Heritage barrels. This is my favorite part. Which are heavily toasted, heavily toasted and lightly charred dumb and to create a Always unique flavor. Really Hold it out there. <laughs> <laughs> can't see it we got a couple old dudes trying to read that little writing up here. <laughs> well, so it's basically a trend. Basically, Jay, it's a, it's a toasted rye. So it's a rye, then they 
put it in that yeah. toasted heritage bag. So it's a toasted yeah. rye. Okay. Okay, good. David, you're going to want to, sorry, David, one of the winners sure, is asking what to do. Send your a picture of your uh, driver's license or ID or whatever and your address to slbdrinks at gmail.com. Herbally. Please. Herbally. I'm going to join you up here while I eat this potato. Please do. <laughs> yeah. Bring it on, brother. This is scotch. It's crazy. Uh, some some people, people, salt. Hey, some Caleb said you sprinkle know if, salt. Uh, Trenton gave you the five dollars that you he owed you. No, I gave him the I gave him the dark cove instead. Gotcha. Okay. Do we have salt down here? No. You gotta have salt down here. You just have to raw dog it. No, wait, you that. I only have saline solution for there you problems. Go. No, don't you have that margarita salt? <laughs> I don't want that's a lime in there. That, away. that, yeah, one, that, got, that got kind of bad. But a little sprinkle of salt is the that's way you do that. Would you be able to get some salt? Sprinkle salt? Would you be Pretty what? please. Would you like regular salt or Himalayan? <laughs> <laughs> we got options here. <laughs> Jason, the regular is fine. Has this been washed? Yes. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> right, washed, Caleb? Yeah. Does it matter? No. If it's been washed? Gives it no. You're feeling it anywhere. Flavor. What kind of like what kind of slices do you do? like real thin? He just so takes like, a bite out of the whole thing. What like are you an apple. Yeah, just he's I, just don't yeah, worry I about always, that. I always just peel it and eat it like an apple. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'll just toss some salt on it. <laughs> no, peel. Yeah, I want you to cut some more because I want some too. Peel it like in a slice or just no, like it down no, the no, thing. You peel it. What do you mean peel it? You don't eat the skin. Uh, Eric B wants to know if we can get nose and palate notes on the potato. <laughs> <laughs> Starch. Earth. <laughs> Dirt. <laughs> Potato. <laughs> you eat it without the skin. The skin's the best part. <laughs> you don't have a salt shaker around here? No. No, they All get right. real fancy. I met my brothers. They're a little fancy. So there's a... Oh, darn right. You got to have a pinch of salt, not a shake of salt. What was that? <laughs> salt bay. <laughs> You're bringing back salt bay? Yeah. Salt on potato bay? Yeah. <clears throat> Someone better That's make good. that. That's good. That's good. Man. So I just had that scotch, and that scotch was crazy good. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like, it's pretty good. No, it's good. It's just really good. I would honestly probably eat this normally. <laughs> it is good. I'm glad. Uh, I almost said I'd eat a raw onion. Dexter Von Whiplash <laughs> wants to know what's the proof on that tater. Get it? Tater. This, this might be hazmat. Oh, all right. It's getting there. This is crunchy. That rye is good. Yeah, you said it was soft. Yeah, yeah, it was soft, but it's also like loud. <laughs> it's surprisingly loud. <laughs> See what I do, bud? I just go like, yeah. I don't know. Mmm. Oh, yes, yeah. Philby, it is raw. Mm -hmm. You're kind of a sissy if you don't eat with the skin on. <laughs> we'll give it a little dunk, a little dunk ski. Do it. Is Good this dunk. one of those like chewing <laughs> videos or whatever? Oh, yeah. What is that? There's um, a word. I don't remember what it's called. ASMR. SLB eats. Holy crap, that's <laughs> awesome. SLB eats. Kurt, did you have this? It's a little sip of it, yeah. Mm. Really SLB good. eats might be a thing, so stay tuned. It's really that. good. <laughs> and that's not a joke, actually. I'm not in. What? I'm not doing. Oh, no. a, I'm not doing a live show on that one. Oh, no. SLB eats a, a piece of I'm celery. Take a spot. <laughs> He'd be in trouble, wouldn't you, Kurt? Yeah. <laughs> I am if not the pickiest eater I've ever known. Meat, no. Potatoes or bread? I'm out. <laughs> we went out to eat. Oh my god! At a, it's like a brewery. What'd you order, Kent? Burger, right? No. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're talking noodles. about blockheads. Butter noodles. Oh. <laughs> I ordered off the kids' menu. <laughs> yeah. uh, it is on the kids' menu. My wife used to work there. It yeah. is. It's Asian. <laughs> it's an Asian infused. No, it's restaurant. Old. Asian fusion. Oh, oh, I was going to say the noodles. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, they're just so, noodles. <laughs> you know, they got noodles with all the crap in it. I don't want it. He's um, so about, like, on ramen. the kids' menu, they have butter noodles. <laughs> so you know. But I got crazy and added chicken. Crazy. <laughs> to the kids' menu noodles. <laughs> It was fantastic. And you should have seen the look on the waitress's face well, when he ordered butter noodles. Even better, oh. like the four-year-old at the table next better, to us. Better, I was like, was I like, ordered that too. It's yeah. great. <laughs> and the kid was like elbows deep in like noodle sauce. and it his, was, his, yeah. his elbows were buttery. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> he knew what to order in that place. That's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> <sighs> Trenton, Holy on the, crap. On the nose of this, though, I get a lot, I get a lot of herbal. On the nose, yeah, but I don't get that much on the palate. Being herbal, 
I might be in love again. It's good. Yeah, it's a good one, man. It's, <laughs> okay. it's solid. <laughs> well done. Smooth. Friend. Thanks. Nice save. Yeah, this is good. good job. <laughs> Jack Daniels has tonight. really stepped up their game on yeah. this limited release stuff. That's Here's how a, much is that? Does anybody know? Well, Roughly like MSRP. Bucks. Yeah. Well, we're seventy bucks, yeah. seventy-five bucks. Oh yeah. For sure. I like that they they've done several rise now, mm-hmm. and they just. Good. Between this, the rye, the 2020 rye, and the barrel proof rye, um, Jack might be doing some of the best ryes right now. And I've been a Jack person for a long time. Um, and the new rye game, I like the ryes <laughs> better than the Jack that I've been doing yeah. for years. Yeah, that's really for good sure. stuff. Really wow. good. Thanks for sharing that, Jay. Yeah. Wow. All right, buddy. I think we are you done with there, all the. Yeah. Uh, Giveaways and everything we need to do. I feel like there was one thing we were going to talk about, but I forgot. So <gasps> Jay's birthday. Is it that? Happy birthday, He's Jay. Got it on no, thing, but no. All right. that's, not, that's just for something else. But yeah. All right, guys. Hey, another live stream in the books. We do we do one a month for this reason because you know, I don't know we just shoot from the hip and have a good time. And I hope if you joined us this evening and if you made it this far. I hope you've had a good time as well. You we still have 1,200 people. And I also still yeah, have two amazing. donations I forgot to read. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, Virginia Rose, $10. Thanks for creating oh, such an awesome... Virginia. Good yeah, to, yeah. thanks for creating such you. an awesome community slash family. It is. Thanks for being part of it. You it's more of it a awesome. family than anything else. You're right. Matthew Cowan, $10. Sipping on my Patreon cocktail submission. Love the oh, SLB content okay. and Trenton's unique description. Those have been very fun. I've been really, yes. really yeah, excited that what we're gonna for talk those. About? Patreon and picks, real quick. Oh god! Oh no! <laughs> potato. You it's do it a potato. You do hey, it in video. You gotta go get some pills, bro. You've potato. been doing it a lot. He is a gassy boy. <laughs> um, not this week, but next week. Kent, Kurt, Michelle, and I, and I think Harry's coming with us. I think. What? What? We're going to pick. Okay. We're going to pick a peerless double oak rye. Mm. Wow. Okay. And we're going to pick a fun. maker's mark barrel. You see, that's why. I was like, I got to get in on this one because I'm a big Makers fan. Yeah. So we got that. We got 13 hey, County coming paperwork. up next it's year. We got terrible. several picks <laughs> dropping in the next couple weeks or the next couple months until the end of the year. Um, that is all available on our Patreon, which is pinned in the chat. We're also doing, uh, we got a Discord. We got cocktail competition going on right now. It's all a good time. If you want to get involved, check out Patreon. That is one of the things that helps us avoid having to take ads for armpit shavers and food boxes and cigar clubs and like all that stuff that you see in videos that takes up five minutes of the content. Uh, we don't do that and Patreon really helps us avoid having to take those email requests. Um, I think I just nailed two things in one, the picks and the Yeah, I, I was reading so. comments, I'm sorry. Yeah. So thank you to everybody who donated. We're sorry if we either missed you or yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, we That's were a little right. bit behind. Yeah. But That's okay. You know what? And when it all comes down to it, we appreciate everybody that donates, you know, in our live stream. But, you know, past that, it's more than that. It's the experience of having everybody with us. Mm-hmm. So not only do we, do we, you know, amazingly thank everyone who donated, but everyone who even joined us, who joined in the chat, who had a good time. And, and just here with us for these couple hours, we can't thank you enough. Honestly, we can't. So you're all on the same level to us, no matter what. So we appreciate you for sure. Andrew said he wanted to see you do an ad read for Manscaped. <laughs> you see, that, that's the thing. When I, when I think about these sponsors and stuff like that, I think, how are we going to pull that off between you and me, you know? Well, yeah. I don't think it would go very well. It'll be a shot of, like, trenching his legs funny. and back or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly right? That. Right? <laughs> oh, man. There's uh, an after party in Discord. If you're a new patron, check out Patreon or uh, check out Discord. Yeah. And if you are already a patron, we'll see you on uh, Discord. Take a five-hour energy before you Kent get there. Kent will not yeah. join us, unfortunately. But. <laughs> yeah, Kent's going to go hang out with the cool kids. <laughs> well, I have to say the treat of the night was Dark Cove for oh. me. I just, <laughs> this is what I got in the glass right now. What an amazing pour. Yeah. Thank you, Trent. You know, he always, he always, I put things in his ear and sometimes I think he listens, sometimes I think he don't, and then all of a sudden he pulls something out of the bag and, you know, so he always tries to look out for the old man and I appreciate that. So anyways, 
I had a great time tonight. I hope you did Man, too. Caleb, awesome. thanks for coming. Jay, happy birthday to you, buddy. Thanks, you know, sir. we really appreciate you and everything you do for the show. Thanks for the blind. That was really fun. I had a good time doing that, actually. It was yeah. different than the normal different, theme sure. thing that we yeah. had. And I had yeah. a great time doing it. And I, I have to admit, it doesn't disappoint me that Pappy was in last place. No. It doesn't. That makes so, me happy. I'm sorry well, about that. I didn't least, know what it was, but... At least that particular bottle of Pappy. Yeah. doesn't yeah. disappoint me. So yeah. thanks, everybody, for watching. Boy, we love each and every one of you. Uh, we, we really, really do. So don't miss us next month. So I'm sure we'll have something special. I We never know until the week before, do we, Trent? <laughs> we actually have the rest of the year planned out for live streams. That's Which the only thing we shocking. plan. Wow. Just because, just because, <laughs> there just, you go. Just I'm because amazed. There, there are series endings. We got the Trent versus Kurt live stream. We got the charity live stream. We got the... Yes, that's um, a big one coming up. Charity live stream. We have more October information for and that. And someone yeah. asked about that, and I meant to say yep. it a long time ago, but I figured we'd talk about it. We I actually started work on that about two weeks ago. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, did you? Knowing it was coming. Yeah, we're Just definitely going to be doing the charity live <laughs> stream. I'm going to pull uh, off a Trent in that. Trent, we oh, already have... Okay. I don't mm -hmm. know if you guys know or even now. There's already two bottles that I've saved in here. Somebody sent us way early in the year like in march or april yeah and said please save these for that's the charity awesome. live stream that's awesome. and i have your name that's with a awesome. sheet of paper in my rudimentary that's ways so i have awesome. in my office <laughs> i have the bottle sitting on top yeah, of the sheet of paper if you don't know <laughs> big old school but he's old school <laughs> but i have those saved for the live that's stream awesome. auction that is fantastic and uh you know that's always a good time i don't know if any anybody wasn't that far in advance but i literally a couple weeks ago made a couple contacts to work towards awesome that yeah show pretty cool so. i don't know if anybody's head will be shaved that evening i'm not sure <laughs> you, you shave mine it's, it wouldn't take much <laughs> <laughs> I think, I you can you can take my last inch off it's fine yeah i think we're gonna have a live tattoo for kurt on the show but we'll see see i keep saying I would about love that. To do that so and and caleb knows uh there's some battery powered ones that are quiet that could be happening right here behind the camera. We've got one at home. So, <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. Amanda could uh, <laughs> Wait, throw a tattoo down real quick. Oh, boy. <laughs> Caleb, what is that okay, surprise me? I have so me? many questions. Right. You never cease That's to amaze awesome. me, Caleb, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, it's, don't expect it to be a realism portrait or anything. <laughs> It'll be very technically a tattoo. Make it simple. <laughs> It'll be like Dad's tattoo he got when he was, everybody was drunk in the same room. Remember he had that story? That tattoo that was just everywhere. It was like, what? There's a few stories similar to that and, uh, uh, with this same machine. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, Trent, uh, Caleb, I'm going to have to think about that one. He could have a live show on his, yeah. on his screwed up tattoos. Actually? Not screwed up, but funny tattoos. Yeah. I Thank will you say tattoo. that. There you go. All right, well, as usual, we went off the rails at some point mm. in time. It just happened to be the last there 15 minutes of the show. So. There it went. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Uh, keep with us. We're going to keep putting out three shows a week. Do the best we can. Trent and I get back here and try to be as honest and as... as um, personal as possible and, and we won't uh, we won't vary from that i'll promise you that's for sure so have a great weekend everybody thanks so much see you next time